What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Happy Sunday. Yes, clap it up, clap it up on the Lord's Day. This is the Get Right, bitch. I'm your host, Eric Devante. I'm Kelvin Unique. And I'm Christopher Armani. And today we have a special guest back in the building returning. Talk to us. Hey, y'all. Now, before the show gets started, it was supposed to be the entire cast you can, of Ready MA. Can I get a proper intro? Podcast. I was about to say. <laughs> no, because this is trash. <laughs> no, just playing. Y'all give it up for Tavares. Hi, y'all. This is Tavares from the Ready to Make podcast. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're supposed to have the entire cast today, but what happened to everybody, Tavares? Dabrin had to work at 11, and me and Blake went to a party last night, and we didn't get home until 530 in the morning, and he mm. acted like he couldn't get up. So what party did y'all go to? Cause, oh, we did you to- get invited? Chris, did you get invited? I, no I was a plus one. Oh, we're- <laughs> 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 Let's make it clear. I I was, was- we went to, um, you know, Mike the Mayor. Mm-hmm. He had a house party last night. Who's Mike the Mayor? Is he the, the guy mayor? that do the party on Thursday nights at uh, St. Felix? Never. Tall, light skin. Never been. You know, you'll see him. Never anyway, been. Tall, thick, yellow bone. Never. It was a very interesting crowd there. I I was wondering. I'm like, I never go out on Saturdays and get my life, especially in WeHo, because that's the white it kids there. Oh. It was at his house. It was a house party. Oh, that's always cute. Yeah. In that's always cute. I Whoa. never go out on Saturday nights. I've learned that. Like, I, I don't, I don't go out on Saturday Since when the fuck don't you go out on Saturday Like, nights? I don't go to the club on Saturday night. Like, sometimes, like, we may, like, just, like, find, like, a house party or, like, just chill with the friends, but mm-hmm. we never, like, like, go out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nigga, you go out every I night. I don't go out every night. I'm so glad Chris is here to call you on your bullshit, because I know you be going out. you go out every night. I do not go out every night. Look. Every I, other night? Like, every what? Every other night is not true. I've honestly been a homebody, because I was a homebody because I had somebody in my home, and oh. then I right, sheltering. <laughs> you were sheltering. <laughs> yeah. oh. you, were, you were opening up the shelter, I know. Oh, and no. then, I, I, I really chilled down. I went out Friday night to Brian's. Brian had a... um. A show, Who at, is uh, that my weird? brother, oh. my brother, my brother Brian. Uh, he had a show. Yeah, like a like yeah, his band. Oh. Yeah, last call. Brian has a, a band. Yeah, never knew. Yeah, that. next time they perform, I'll I actually you know. want to. Oh, yeah, because it was like last. Yeah, oh. yeah, it was last minute. So like, I literally got off work at seven and went to. Brian where has was. a band. Yeah, last call. The super band, last bit, last call. Superman, last the, call. The super band. Oh. last call. And he's a lead singer. Yeah, it's him and another girl, and they do like covers of everybody's songs. Yeah, I want to go next yeah. time. <laughs> okay, I'll make sure I let you know. Was it good? It was good. I love Last Call. They're actually really, really good. They they started back in Fort Wayne, mm-hmm. so a couple of them moved out here, and they had their first show in L.A. last uh, on Friday. So that was really cool. Is that uh, Bells and Heralds? What kind of music? Heard that? Uh, they do R and B music. So oh, okay. like from like old school to new school. I was thinking about getting like a thirty minute set at my party, but now it's like that may kill the mood. Thirty minutes is long. That's a but they're really good. Time. But they're really good. You gotta they, give they them may a be good, good to seven. you. We don't. No, like when I say they're like legit musicians, like mm-hmm. they're really no, but good. Kevin, sometimes but you're good. No, is no, no, not no, no, no. They're really good. good. But but is it the good for thirty minutes at a party, a birthday party? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I think it would kill that mood. Oh, like if yeah, we're, if, yeah. if K Style is still the ass and the circle is on, then we transition to unless they're doing uh, a cover song that's to like some a hype shit. Yeah, but I don't think that it be. I don't know. I'll I'll see. Let's just play the music. That'll be you know. Let's just kill all of it. <laughs> for your wedding reception, yeah. just, just yeah, I just thought that would be dope. But yeah, so yeah, that's the only other time I went out. Last night, I was home at a reasonable hour. What time were you home, and where were you before that? Oh yeah, oh, what's a reasonable hour? I was, I, huh? No, One? I was definitely in the house by like on a Saturday. Reasonable is like three. On a Saturday, <laughs> I was <laughs> definitely <laughs> in the house. Let's see. Let me go back and take my text messages. Cause I think reasonable text. is kind of three. That's when everything ends. I definitely was back in the house Hold by on, where did you go, though? 12. Oh. Okay, that's so fair. He says. But where were you? Huh? Where, where were, were you? you? When? We're going to play this Why game? Why can't you just where? tell us? Like, where where I went you? to the movies. Who you oh. Went? oh, you went on a date. That's real intimate. Huh? Was With it who? the first hangout? Huh? Motherfucker, just tell us. <laughs> <laughs> no. With who I think it is? Mm, no, you don't know this person. So Ooh, somebody you is really running through these holes. Yeah. When Ludacris said pimping all over the world, he had you in mind. <laughs> you know, I felt like, why not give it another chance mm-hmm. Absolutely. and throw myself back out there? Again. That's where I'm at. But I'm not, I'm not throwing myself back out there. You throwing just, that ass in a circle. You are throwing yourself I'm back chilling. out there. Hold I'm up. Really I, chilling. This wasn't your first day, right? Yeah. To the movies? It was It was not planned to go to the movies. This, oh. it, none of this why, was planned. Why did, I went to the Beverly Center. Mm-hmm. It was like where you they have it? a movie theater there. No, oh, I went to the movies at the Grove. I went to the Beverly City to buy the last couple pieces for my outfit. Oh, okay, and then like, okay, cool. Like, 
well, I'm I'm down the street. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So they came to the Baby Center. And we went shopping a little bit. Then it was like, what you about to do? Nothing. Said, want to go to the movies? Said, why not? Sure. But this wasn't your first meetup. You yes. knew him before. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. it was first time like meeting. Yeah, that's trash. Oh. So how was the date? I don't oh. like movies, and it was a trash ass movie. What movie was it? Is that uh, the Harry Potter movie that? Why y'all didn't what see the Widows? Fuck? There's a Harry Potter yeah, movie. Yeah, Widows is actually Widows. We should have seen yeah. that. We should have seen that. But I think every other movie is playing like at ten. Like y'all could have saw that. What's that new movie called? So, With that little girl in Easter Ray? Um, the hate you give. Y'all could have saw that. Oh, mm, I didn't even yeah. know that came out. I didn't know it came out either. Mm. Y'all could have saw the Grinch. Yeah, but all the movies was the Grinch was sold Halloween. out. Halloween, and then like, but all the movies, the <laughs> Grinch was sold out can already. I say, can I say but, what I'm going to say? But you don't go to movies on first the dates. Movie, I hate a first date at a movie. Sydney so, agreed. so you're not the top in that situation because you didn't control it. Wow. Yikes. I let's, just let's, went, let's call him out. Yeah. Just, let's, just, let's call him out. Wow. Let's, let's call him out. Oh I just God. went. Let's call him out. Flow of the of what was going on. It Scott was nine Rogue o'clock. Got it, got it, it was like you want to see a movie? Said <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> we went to the movies. I did not know anything that was going on. But you were was, there. I, yeah, I don't know anything. You agree? Yeah, I don't know what's going on in that movie. Like if you'd ask me, like what was the plot? Nothing. Well, that's a waste Some of money wizards time. killing yeah. people. <laughs> you pay for you? No, I didn't pay for it. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So he says. We don't know that. I didn't pay for it because. <laughs> Did he text you when you got home? Long as I got king keys. What? Come on. Long as I got king keys. Long as I got king keys. You'll be all right. Because if you know what I've been through. <laughs> if you know my. No, let me stop. I'm not do that. I'm not going to do that. That's not, that's not nice. Anyways. But yeah, they pay for the movies. Okay. <laughs> I just realized what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all get any snacks? Yeah. I pay for snacks. Oh, okay. That's fair. That's yeah. just as much as a movie ticket anyway. I don't feel like no, the at this point. Movie yeah. ticket movie's like thirty four dollars. I'm sorry. Popcorn. Well, road, popcorn was like yeah. yeah, it was like eighteen dollars for snacks. Off. I don't yeah. like the movies because I just like to watch movies in the comfort of my own home, but I like the movies only Depends on what's out. Yeah, like, I like nigga movies. Yeah, yeah, me too. Or like, I like only like comedies. I only go watch comedies. I do want to see so, Halloween with other people, but I can watch that by myself too. You never I go don't to like movies by yourself. Movies. I always go to the movies. By I don't yeah. go to the movies with people. Oh, I, go so to I don't even. Myself. I don't. Mm-mm. Mm. I suppose. Oh, but I have a question before we get off. What? How my week was? Because I asked Chris this in the car, but he thinks that I'm crazy for asking this. Okay. Well, actually, I asked Chris two things in the car, and he probably thinks I'm high right now. The first thing I goes ask them. Well, the second thing I ask them is, do you ever wonder how your fingers work? Okay. You ever think about that? Like, just no. how your fingers work? No. I've thought about the idea of me being a human. Like, I've yeah, I've thought like, about like, oh my god, I'm an actual moving being. Don't yeah, entertain like looking and stuff. like how did don't I entertain him? Like, like, I'm dead ass. I've, no, I've, like, I've had really. The, I've had those. I think everyone should like. We're actually weird creatures. Like creatures. Let's, how did we get to be humans and other things are birds Our and like birds ants and birds and roaches and shit? And shit. <laughs> yeah, how did, we, did we I get it like born, a lottery? We weren't born like that. Yeah, but right. Like, but but how did we, could, we could us. be roaches. We could be roaches. We Who could, the fuck we could be, be roaches to something else. Who wants to be a roach? No. I've never See? thought of this, but I'm just saying. Like, we we could be a dog. But it's a, a thought. Right, exactly. And I'm so grateful I'm not. So where was you going with that? No, I was just. Oh, just it was just a moment. And then the other one was I was counting, I put a countdown to my birthday because my birthday's Thursday and then my party's Saturday. So I was wondering, like, how do you count down? Mm-hmm. Do you count today and the day, or do you count today and not today, or do you count the day and not today? Today, I count the next day forward because this day is already in progress. Exactly. So it's like, eh. and he thought I was Chris, a- you didn't say that. Yes, I did. And the guy said, if today's already here, and your birthday's in four days. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, you wouldn't account for today. We're already in today. Yeah, I'm. Re- I was really concerned because I don't know how people come down. Are you I excited mean, everyone, about your party? I'm excited for everybody to come. Are you nervous? I am really nervous. Why? Uh, because I have a lot of groups of different people that mm. I that I fucks with, and that are my friends, and I know everybody. Everybody's good. Yeah, I just need more girls at my party. Mm. More girls, like yeah. real girls. Yeah. Why? Real girls? Because I have a lot of <laughs> heterosexual friends. Oh. Ah. And they're all coming. Can and, they I need, <laughs> and I need them to have ass stone on them. Right. They don't have it. But not from you, Tavares. <laughs> <laughs> I need, that'll, that'll I need ladies it. to be there. So right. ladies, if you're out there listening, it's a lot of single, handsome men coming to my party. Please it's bring the your, niggas Please bring there, your though. girlfriends. For please us. bring your female exactly. friends. Uh, make sure to wear green, because I would hate to have to turn somebody away for not wearing green. So ladies, if you're that? out there, you're single, 
You're, you're, that's the thing. I wish they could see my face right now. In mine. <laughs> Chris is at the door. Yeah, uh, if niggas don't have on green. people. If anyone doesn't have on green, I'm sorry. It's, anyone. It's Thank it's you, the store, It's the store right down the street. <laughs> it's the store right down the street. <laughs> there's Hollywood, a, Party there's City? A, there's a Beverly Center right down the street. Uh, Hollywood Boulevard is right there. Make it work. You can, the Zars down the street. It doesn't even have to be the, money green. The Forever 21's green down the street. It can be a green t-shirt at this yeah. point. The $5 gift shop is down the street. <laughs> a, Holly, a green Hollywood shirt will work for me. Just make sure you have on some green. <laughs> no, but ladies, it's gonna be a lot of single men that have good jobs. They're gonna be there. Ain't is it gonna be single gay men? Yeah, too. I have a lot of. I have a lot of different. It's gonna be some alphas there. Actually, yes, there will be alphas there, but they won't be for you. Oh, I was about to say because there's a lot of alpha sisters. Yeah, <laughs> alpha, <laughs> alpha sisters. No, my best friend, my best friend Ray, he's coming. He he Who's he Ray? could be for you. I don't know Ray. He don't live here. Oh, where are you from? He's from. He's trying to get his, huh. his whole facts. <laughs> he is really time. running down on him. <laughs> yeah, Tavares, no the, yeah, Tavares, the party's canceled. You can't come. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, but yeah, ladies, come out. It's some single men. And then, guys, come on. They are going to be there in the green. Though. So, yeah. So, fellas, uh, I'm single, I guess. You stop claiming. Okay, stop claiming. I'm single. He is, well, you know what you are because you keep. Hopping around, which is fine. So not hopping around. Anyways, how was you guys' weeks? My week has been okay. It's pretty okay. So I found out one of my tenants is a drug dealer. <laughs> oh, you apartment? Uh, we officially. No, I'm like know. constantly. Yeah, because we, we said that last yeah, week. We officially. Know. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful thing. He's really nice, though. You know, I just learned to mind my business. You got to do what you got to do. Just don't shoot up the place while I'm on shift, mm. and <laughs> everything is well. I told you what to do. What? I told you you need to be part of the cartel. You know, I just don't think I'm built to fit. I don't. I think no, you'd be perfect because I always feel like if I sold drugs, mm-hmm. I'd be the best drug dealer. No, you oh. wouldn't. You would get caught the first day. I would not get caught because I'm so Your nice. Your first sale, I think you would get I'm caught. I'm so nice and I'm so unsuspected of being a drug dealer that I'll be the best drug dealer. No. You could be like when Lil' Kim used to transport for the drug dealer. Yeah. All right, but she did get a year. Backpack. Yeah. She did get a no, year. She but a she teenager. got a year for lying. That's true. Yeah. So what you gonna do? So what I'm gonna do? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell the truth. I'm oh. singing like a bird. I ain't, <laughs> if I get caught, everybody drug going down. Is not for you, uh-uh. Everybody is going drug down. Drug is not for you. Because <laughs> Kelvin not doing time for nobody. Send them out. Send them out. Because they will pass you around and shove mops up your ass. I bitch. know, and that's why I can't go. Don't do it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. My name gonna be Butch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told like this. What up? What up, Cuz? <laughs> Representing the third ward. They not gonna give a fuck. What up, bro? Fuck that voice. I ain't gonna have no glasses on. Like, what up? gonna be blinded. What, what up, y'all? It's Butch. Bitch. That shit ain't gonna work. That works, right? <laughs> it ain't gonna work. It's work Butch, today. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from that, what else has happened? No, that's it. I've really just been working. I feel like that's where my life has been spent. Welcome to my life. Yeah, uh, it's kind of. Yeah. It's not the worst because I'm not a broke bitch, but. But that makes it better. But my It's time, worse when you're working and still broke. That's me. Wh- I work where so do you work? Jobs. Well, how many jobs, jobs do you work? Oh, oh he, no. he's he's worse than me. <laughs> like, how many jobs are you working? Three for sure. And you broke. Oh, that's exhausting. I'm playing catch up. That's exhausting. It's oh, like okay, that's like a real. Regular day. That's real. Catch up is. I be out and about, and I see Tavares at all these random events. Random. I just bump because I don't go nowhere. You just told me yourself. You said you don't go out. I don't go out. I said go to events. Yeah. What's the difference? Like, no, I'm it's not. not a, like, I, don't I don't seem at like the club. Yeah. It be like going I, don't, going I don't go to the club. I know like you that. don't go to the club. Yeah, so like if I'm at like event or like just out and about, I bump into him all the time. Can we go to a club again? We're actually going uh, to a club on Friday for my my cousin Corbin's who comes in Tuesday. Hmm. Was Chris probably was like get the fuck out of my house? Wow, it's coming. I won't even see this nigga. I'm sure <laughs> you probably will. <laughs> He's coming Tuesday, but his birthday is the 24th. We're twin cousins, mm. oh. so we're literally two days apart. His my birthday was supposed to be his birthday, but I was born two weeks early. Y'all got a table? No. I don't know if we can do a section thing. I just don't like sections. At Blow? I don't like sections anywhere. Oh, I love a section. I, I just need feel, a section. I feel really Blow, weird. Kinda, and then everybody the be in your thing. section. Like, when we went, when, the couple times I've been in a section, niggas just walk in your section anyway. And then no. the security don't even, like, get people out. So it'd be, like, a lot of Mexicans in your uh, security. Mexican? What club is you The at? Mexicans Blow. Oh, no. It's real they be, diverse. They be coming up in there and they just be in your section. Especially, oh, no. like, when you're on the balcony. 
Like if you over there like by the hookup area, you good. But like on yeah. the balcony area, they just be walking all up and through your section. Because it's like, just a step with sometimes ropes. Yeah, and then sometimes security. And right. the security <laughs> don't even care because everybody just in there. They don't know who in your party or not, so right. everybody just there. And, mm-hmm. like, and there'd be 12, 20 niggas in one section on a little bit of couch. He did say it was Mexican. We might as well just be on the floor. Pack. Well, when Save I think section, I'm talking about the one against the wall up the, like, by the stage. That's what I'm talking to. Oh, okay, yeah. No, I like they just that, be up yeah. in there. No, nah, you might, you paying, what, $600, $300 for a bottle? Mm. I don't know. It's fine. Think about how many is drinks that really? is. Is it really? Yeah. But yeah. tell everybody in your playing. section to get $10. No, do this. Oh, ha- for what? For a section. Like, um, Playground. We're going to do Playground on Saturday night. They wanted six fifty. That's oh. the starting. Oh, oh that's, for a section. That's a straight oh. club. Yeah, yeah, that's no. That's a I dumb. said uh, that's that's drinks. Yeah, a lot of them. There's drinks and cover. I bet you for all of us, and maybe some people you don't know. Yeah, my cousins. Right. Then they only let you bring in six people with you, right? Yeah. Oh, you got the audacity. <laughs> yeah. Six race bands. So yeah, that's why I don't do sections at the club. Oh, I'm, and club. I, plus, I like to be around the people. Don't just stuff in my shoes. That's why I never wear good shoes to the club. Uh, yeah, never so everybody yeah. that, so everybody that sees me every time i go out because chris says i go out all the time you do and if you see me in the same three pairs of shoes mm-hmm. i don't only have three pairs of shoes i have a lot more shoes mm-hmm. but those are only club shoes that i wear because y'all niggas step on my shoes i feel like if people that drinks, close so. to you paying attention to your shoes they need to pay a bill <laughs> don't be up on me like that in the club yeah why is you? But why do you know I wear the same shoes every week? Yeah, it's so dark in there. I'm just telling you because I'm, you know, you know how they are. Yeah, they they looking at that. So if you see me in the same three, go to my Instagram. I have different shoes. But if you see me, <laughs> <laughs> but if you see me in the same three pairs of shoes, because I don't want you stepping or spilling on my shoes, because my shoes I acquire are not from Aldo all the time. They're from they're probably retros, or they're probably very hard finds. Yeah, and I don't want you stepping on them. Yeah, the kids love an aesthetic. I don't understand why people do that. You ever go? Do you go in the club and really just like lock in on people? When I'm sober, yeah. Really? When I when I feel threatened, yeah. Define feeling threatened in the like club. Like if I just feel un- like I'm I'm uneasy right now. Yeah. Like if I don't like you ever just been in the club and like I just feel like some shit. About Something to about to happen. Yeah, like that. That's mm-hmm. that's when I. I like, feel like that at house parties. Now I feel like that at clubs. I feel like it's. My anxiety kicks in. Like when like when some like when Nucky Fubuck comes on. Like I just oh, feel well, like something's about to happen. That no. makes me anxious. I think Especially where you are. Collapse. Yeah. But I haven't been to a club in years. Out yeah, here. Chris. We're out going here. to I'm I'm dragging Chris out for New Year's, guys. Oh shit. You doing what? Oh, my homeboy I'm dragging you a, out for New, a New Year's Eve party. Oh, I go out every New Year's. I know, but I'll this be time out that late though. This, I know. This time you're actually staying out. No, I'm probably gonna leave at one or two. You're not leaving at one or two because those tickets are not one or two prices. Right, but I paid for it, so you did not pay me for those tickets. Not yet. Hold up, did you have a girlfriend last time I came? He has a girlfriend. He was talking now. about being. Oh, you have a girlfriend now. He has a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Woo, let's get another. Fight. I know he was well, on. Like I the... have to put B two K girlfriend sound effect <laughs> next week. Yeah, you really do because every time we talk about her, that... we need to we need to have that. Oh, is plan. this the one? <laughs> this is this is this dream. Is the, yeah, this, this is, is the dream. one. I'm yeah. so excited. Nice. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! You know what you really have? Oh, that's nice. What? Why? Why play that? What, what body are you looking for? I thought that was never too much, never too much, but that actually is New York. I'm I sorry. Send- <laughs> <laughs> I will make that, and I will send it to you. But yeah, that's been my week. It's been pretty chill. Um, Tavares, what about you? What's been up? Oh, this week? Yeah. I almost had sex with a celebrity. I, don't, I know you ain't gonna say the name. I will say the name. Will you really? Yes. Oh, shit. And hold on. Before you say the name. I like these two bitches. Yeah, because we don't. We, <laughs> I, I, I talk my shit. No, but I, we. I mean, don't we, get crazy. No, no, don't no. Me and Chris, I don't, we, are I don't, the, we are the king of secrecy. We will tell you what's going on. But I don't like saying We're names. not gonna say no name. Yeah, like I'll say what's going on. To protect but, the innocent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Have? So anyway, I recorded my show last night. Mm-hmm. So we had a, um, a guest on there that asked us. To name names if we ever had sex with a celebrity. Mm-hmm. So this week just so happens I'm on Jacked, and um, it's a private profile with like a torso or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I said, "Open your picture." So he opened a picture, and it looks like somebody that is familiar. So I said, "Well, send me one more picture." You are annoying. I said, "Send me one more picture." Guess who it was? Who? Nathan from Boys to Men. <laughs> so, I am gagging. Yes. <laughs> so I'm on his Instagram like. Is this really him? I'm sending the pictures to my friends like, bitch, am I tripping or what? So um, he was like, I'm staying at the Sheraton downtown. And he kept asking me to leave work. I said, well, if I leave work, you must be paying me for my day. Amen. So this voice to men still got a check? They yeah. have a residency they just in released Vegas. A, I'm, I'm looking at me. And he flips million dollar houses. Oh, 
<laughs> on a TV show now. So um, anyway, I'm like, okay, he's not cute, but hell, fuck. I'm about to cash out. <laughs> so <laughs> after I got off work, I met him at the hotel. He said he wanted to go get something to eat. So I picked this little ramen spot downtown, and he met me. So some guy walks in, mm-hmm. and um, <laughs> I, I get a text. I one oh, yeah, thing. the big lip one. Oh, wow. Oh. I get a text talking about I'm here, but it was catfish. How you catfishing with Nathan from pitching from Boys and Men of all people? <laughs> so it was some old wide face line looking motherfucker. Ooh. I'm like, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, that's what I get for being a bird. Well, <laughs> so you so... thought you. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I'm confused. Okay, hold on. <laughs> how did you wait? So how did you get in contact with Nathan? Like, so wait, wait, I'm confused. So there's an app, a dating app. And he was pretending to be Nathan. He sent me Nathan's pictures, two of them. <laughs> Why <laughs> Nathan? <laughs> Nathan? Where is? But, what is going on? But Bruh. that ain't even who showed up. It was a below version of that, <laughs> which is I, oh, which sucks. Yeah. Damn. He so wait, money, what happened though? Like, did you curse him out? No, like? we ate. Okay, so we ate or whatever. You're and a good then, one. <laughs> I wanted a meal. <laughs> um, <laughs> and he was staying at the hotel by 7th Street Metro So I ended up walking with him back to the room And then um, I already knew I wasn't going to do nothing with him But I don't know, I had nothing to do So I went up there and um, we was watching TV And he just attacked, like he threw his mouth on me His chapped lips oh, no. on my mouth And was like, what's up baby? I was like, mm-mm So he was like, you going to give me some He said some pussy I said, um, I think we like the same thing. <laughs> so <laughs> I ended up leaving. And when I left, I said, how are you going to be using other people's pictures? He talking about, oh, it was a joke. He was like, if you weren't feeling it, you should have just left. I was like, so I just blocked him. That is a fucking joke because you decided to catfish me with fucking Nathan Morris. No, please. Hold on, what if I would have played him for one? This is him. You know you really look like? You fucking look like Luther Vandross. That's what that was. But and yeah, it never gets old. But who the fuck catfishes with Nathan Morris? Exactly. It was so. That's why I thought it was him because it's so random. So random. I'm like nobody gonna send me fake pictures of Nathan. <laughs> Nathan Morris. Morris. Now, now I can never use the sound effect of boys to men. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna send us a cease and desist. Oh shit! Wow. <laughs> it's over. Wow. So that was my week. Wow. Oh jeez, Chris, that was your week. How can you follow that epic I story? Know. <laughs> My week has been cool. I've been feeling like a fucking bum lately because it's no shave November. But um, uh-uh. you can still line up though. I wanted to talk about that on the show. Go ahead. But yeah, but I'm gonna say fuck it next week because your party. So yeah, well, usually I do the the full month. But mm-hmm. I'm getting mine cut next week. But well, yeah, Wednesday. But my facial hair has not grown on my face. I get like scraggly scragglies in my beard. But that's about it. Mm. And I'm yeah. low key pissed about it because I look like a whole different person. Like like this. Like I don't feel like myself. Mm. You look. You look like. You're a substitute teacher. But why are y'all so dedicated to that? No Shave November. Well, it's How did to, they get dedicated to it? Well, I know it's to the the goal of it is to use the money that you usually use for shaving and haircuts to donate to prostate cancer. Oh, is yeah. that what it is? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I So know. You, you not shave because of raising awareness for prostate cancer. Gotcha. But then there's whole, this whole No Nut November, too. Yeah, oh, that, I've never I'm heard of that. That, that, that sounds that's stupid. stupid. No. I, I don't understand. That's, that's rude. fake. That's, that's fake. self-hate. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> anyway, so no shave November. You're gonna shave. Well, I'm gonna get a whole ass haircut. Okay, yeah, but that's it. That's I feel it. that nothing else exciting happened. Is there something that I didn't say? I'm um, really trying to think. Oh, I can also do a dream sound effect. You remember Diddy's group? Yes. yes. Ah. Yeah. Oh my god. It's not going to be He Loves You Not. I was like, that's, like, that's, 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 that's the, the thing song. that just came in my that's head. Something. He's into what he wants. He me. <laughs> I don't even remember that. Not. You remember Dream? The White Girls? The White Girl. The pre Danny Kane? The outfits in the, um, pre uh, Danny Kane? I don't they, remember that. Diddy had an all white girl group. Girl, listen, and they had some they had black girl Apple music? Yeah, oh, yeah. Dream. They have This Is Me. You know, and yeah. They have He Loves You Not. And they have one more. What's the song yeah, called? Like, he, lo- he loves me not. He loves you not. It wasn't or cute, something. Though. It's called Dream Something. But you would like this is me better because of the beat. But what was I about to say? I was listening to um, Eden's Crush the other day. Whoa! Do you remember Eden Crush? Was that I from the TV the show with yeah. Nicole Scherzinger? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then them. Yes. Yes, that's them. <laughs> and then Fergie was in a group before Black Orchid. Yes, mm-hmm. Wild Orchid. Wild Orchid. And I was listening to another day. Like I remember when I was like. Twelve. I used to bump Wild Orchid. I've never bumped Wild Orchid. They were my. Sh- that was my. I've stuff. never listened. I've never even heard. Of like them. if you out there, look, <laughs> go. I just go to Wild Orchid. They have this song it's called Time. Techno. 
They have a song called Time. And it's I don't so think dope. that was produced by him. This? I don't think that album. That's it. I don't think that was Diddy. damn near techno. Though. That's them. That's oh, that's Diddy produced? That was He Loves Me Not. Yeah. I know, but that was, was that Diddy? Yeah, that's Diddy. Diddy, Diddy knew where crossover did he find appeal. Them? Was it from a Yeah, TV where show? the fuck? No, he just, they <laughs> probably was just, Minnesota. Diddy was like, I'm about to get this money. This is the white girl pop group. Minneapolis. It's, pop is hot right now. Let's get it. Oh, they had two albums. Oh, yeah. they did? Oh. Oh, wait. Where is Dream now? Can we get them on the show? <laughs> We can get can dreamed we, all. Can we? Uh, I don't know how I feel about her yet. I, I really don't I like her. Listen, I'm not as an artist. Who's I like her as a, as a, as a person. I think she's a rapper. She's on Love and Hip Hop New York. She's this is how I think she's a rapper. I don't know what she does. She's a personality. Yeah. She was dating Safari. Yeah, because I don't hear no music. She got she's putting home. some songs out. She's a cute girl. I don't want to shit on her. Yeah. But. I can't shit on one I don't know. <laughs> let's see if she sticks around. She not. Yeah, I don't think so. But. Well, I'm not on Love and Hip Hop. She's cute though. Let me tell you, if I was ever on Love and Hip Hop, I'll have an album. Hmm? As you should. Every episode, I would drop a song. Absolutely, I don't, I don't understand what is wrong I don't, with these I people. Don't, I don't. I don't. You're always in the studio filming something, I think but there's they no do music. That's why I'm disappointed in Tierra Marie. Hmm? I think they just do it just because they're on TV, though. Yeah, but that's like a big ass platform. So like a every huge episode, platform. I would I would talk to the producers and just not even ask like what the episode was about. Just give me the episode name, mm-hmm. and I would make a song with the episode name title, and just create an EP from that. But you got to be that creative to do that. Yeah. Or every episode, you just gonna see me in the fucking studio. These people yeah. are always getting coffee and lunch. Why the fuck yeah. is it always lunch? Why, yeah, why are we always brunching? Yeah, never a full meal. Nobody is rapping nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like, Ugh. it's so frustrating. I, I swear, think, you know, I never thought about that. The only show that they actually eat on at these places is the Housewives of Atlanta. Yeah, right. Candy always eating. Yeah, oh. everybody else is just at the restaurant yeah. drinking waters. Right, there's never a meal. Nothing. And then the people in the back don't turn to look at the screen. Well, maybe they ate already. already. Huh? Maybe they ate already. No. And then they start recording. Okay, so why don't the people in the background turn when they start to scream? I don't know. Well, I don't watch it anyway. I'm not oh. sure. They're extras. Now, if, if I'm in the Brian restaurant and someone is episodes. screaming that loud. I'm getting screen time. I need to know what's going on. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. The if they're not screaming, I'm like looking. The, like the, the Kim Kardashian meme her coming out in the bush. That's me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm peeping over everything. I'm looking. We're going to find out. All right. Well, if that's it for everybody's week, is it is it time? Well, Chris, what you done? Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. Okay. And it is time for Bitch, You Better Read. What's my big word? Bitch. Hey, man, it really is. Word two. Number one. <laughs> Number one. Okay, so Kim Porter, Diddy's ex and mother of his kids, passes away at age 47. That's so sad. So sad. Yeah. I just wanted to take a moment because a lot of people on social media had great things to say about her. And I was just like, wow, who was this woman in the industry? Like, who was she? I had no idea she had that much influence. And I knew her name from before, like the minor scandal that her and Diddy had. But other than that, she kind of stayed real low key. But Mm -hmm. she knows so many damn people. I mean, around. Well, she was with him early. Yeah, Yeah, early, early. And she was a model in her own right. Yeah. Like, yeah, but but not even really. She was more of a socialite. Like, she just knew everybody from coming. And then I'll be sure. Fun fact I was reading. Do you know Forever My Lady was, was written by Albie Short, Short yeah. which is about Kim Porter? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I found that out. She's a wonderful recent. muse. I know. It's one of the greatest love songs ever. Mm-hmm. That's so sad. And none of them have posted on social media yet because I'd be looking. So no, no, like, no. The kids Quincy. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't even know I mean, it's, what, it's, that's yeah. what yeah. do you say. Yeah. yeah. Like, I would, I would, I probably would have deleted my Instagram, my Twitter, all that stuff because. If my mom's is a public figure, yeah, and I know that people are going to be saying stuff, or I don't even want that. Type well, we of sure they're they're already in their comments. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. So I, don't, DMs yeah. And oh, I don't even want it. Heavy. I don't want it. Oh, child. So do y'all yeah. think he's going to marry Cassie now? No, no. I they broke so. up with though, right? They, they, they broke I think up. They're going to be back. Oh, they, they broke back up already. She was she gonna be back with him, with him on the in the time of need. She was spotted with him. They're I regular people. We don't know how to say no to these people. I don't think that they're getting back together. I think she's honestly like. Obviously, she knew him. She knew Kim too, so yeah. they're probably mm-hmm. grieving together. Yeah, he gonna come back with a ring. <laughs> I don't think so. Let's you think he was like, like t- life's too short. I need to start out. You think that's what he's fifty? Yeah, he got more years behind him than he do ahead of him. Imagine he came back. Yeah. With he a been Queen with her Latifah for over ten type years. Of situation. What happened? Imagine that he came back with a Queen Latifah type of situation, like with a baby, yeah. with a man. What? No, I don't, see, you, that. I don't oh. see that. Oh, I don't God. either. I, 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 <laughs> I'm just yeah. creating plot twists for the know, world. For the world. I was just like, imagine that. That'd come be, back or come out? No, like I mean, like the next person he dates, it no. would be. It'd be like, whoa. Well, he's it'd be a white man already dating. It would be a white man. Man, yeah, I don't see this. Because imagine him with like. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any. I'm just, I'm just feeding into Eric's fantasy. I, 
don't say fantasy. I want nothing. Yeah, I feel like this was I want about last nothing night. from Diddy. This is what Eric definitely dreamed about. Give last me night. some beats, nothing else. I, I don't want I'll that take man. Something from Diddy. A check. Some Ciroc. That's it. That's it. A lifetime supply of Sean John velour suits. That can be a look. I used to wear Sean John. Mm. I'm okay. Do you know? Wear than all right. <laughs> That's not <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, I'm just saying if it was rocker wear then okay. But Sean John, Sean, no one really wore Sean John. Everybody wore I still Sean see John. Sean John at Ross. Everybody wore Sean Ross, John. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. Like, oh I wait, think. we did see that Macy's the other day. Yeah, he's still probably Sean John is still yeah. Sean yeah. John is still relevant. Sean but John nobody be, really wears it. It's nobody really, really wears about it, how you wear it. You can bring it back if you do it cute. If you yeah. make it look a hot mess, the kids will buy anything and recycle it. Yeah. If rocker wear was still out, I'll still wear that. What's the difference? I just liked Rockwear. I hate. I don't know. I never wore Sean John, but Rockwear. I used to always have a Rockwear. I used to wear Sean John, over and I used Rockwear. to wear S dot Carters. I did have some S dots. I had two pair. I don't think I, I had did. the white and white. Yeah, did and you? I had the tennis pair and then the all black pair. Ooh, the tennis pair got you. Yeah, the tennis pair was cold. <laughs> yeah, it was cold. Yeah. yeah, that's that's a rarity. Yeah. If you find a tennis pair of S dots today, I will buy those again. You probably can sell them for a good price too. No, I will keep those. the retail value. Probably really good. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, number two. Number two. So if your mother, uh, a man was captured at IHOP after his mom helped him escape from the slammer. So. What's up with these these breakfast, breakfast spots? Breakfast. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's a real small town. What the fuck happened? A man, What's the title? <laughs> a man was captured at IHOP after his mom helped him escape from jail. Who snitched on him? It, okay, so yeah, who saw him at the <laughs> A mother helped her son escape from jail, and the first place they hit up was none other than the International House of Pancakes. According to NBC4, Joshua Gulat, 27, and Kathy Lynn Pence, 54, were arrested at oh, IHOP right in front shit. of his Where they kids. From? Let's see, let's see. Kathy um, Gulat? No, her name's no, Pence. Kathy That's Lynn like Pence. Pence. That's Pence. Is, is that from Indiana? This is all over. Uh, so they were arrested right in front of. Uh, Joshua's kids who is the guy who broke out of jail who they went to meet apparently Joshua slipped out of the side door at the jail a few hours before he and his mom were caught smacking <laughs> on some pancakes <laughs> and, I was lying out there. <laughs> I don't, like who is watching this prison <laughs> this gotta be in Indiana like what is going on the negligence <laughs> so blessed okay <laughs> investigators Ooh. ended up listening to a phone conversation between Joshua and Kathy in regards to his escape. What's crazy about this is that while they were listening to them, Kathy had got pulled over for running a stop sign. So police were able to identify her car and track her phone all the way up to the International House of Pancakes. What's sad about this is that Joshua was about to get out of jail for work release, but now he's been hit with felony escape and his mom was hit with aiding and abetting. Why didn't he just... I don't even know where this shit was. First off, Where's the burner phone in this? The burner phone? I, yeah, that's true. It was so randomly placed. How did you guys track? Why well, are we talking about FBI? escaping on the the jail phone? First off, right? I don't wait. No, I I don't think it was on the jail phone. I think they tracked their phone, like the new the new burner phone, not the burner. So phone. how the hell did he call you talking his about the mama phone? I think because can't FBI tap our phones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, that's what that alert was for. Right, so that's what I'm saying. I'm like, they, they, it wasn't a burner phone. It was just like they tapped their cell phones, and they heard mm-hmm. a conversation between them two. But I wonder how did what made them tap the mom's phone? Like, how did they already know they that the mom was already watching? Oh, oh right, because no the government out. got eyes everywhere. Yeah, this whole thing is just. I'm weird sure if you just randomly on the phone talking about killing the president, somebody gonna show somebody, up in the house. Exactly, it's somebody listening and scanning for something. <laughs> I just like I don't get the situation. All I know is that he snuck out of a jail through a side door. I didn't know it was that easy. And he went to IHOP immediately after the meet up with his kids. Well, that's a we're good, welcome, that's a good welcome home meal. We're the sniper people. Yeah, how do you sneak out? What do you do? Through the side door. Well, like, what, this just like you the cool side with door? the bailiff. And then the side, the, the side door just leads to the <laughs> like, backyard. He said, I'll bring you like some IHOP back. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Oh, he wasn't coming back. Like, yeah, because like, is, is, the, is the door directly on the street? Like, the alley? Like, how do you get past all those people? Like, did it lead right to the parking lot? Cause you gotta sign all that paperwork to get in, but you can just slide out. I, I don't know. I, I person, wonder, like, how did he? They gonna get their funding cut. Number three, <laughs> <laughs> funding. The whole jail about to get shut down. Number three, a high school bans <laughs> expensive winter coats to stop poverty shaming. A who? 
a high school stops uh, expensive winter coats. They don't allow the students to wear expensive winter coats Chris, to uh, prevent today? poverty shaming. No, I'm, I just be, sometimes the times be like, huh? Like I gotta register. Yeah. So um, y'all know how it is in the winter time at schools when everybody shows up in the hottest trendy coats of the season. Well, one school in England is putting a stop to that because they want to prevent other students who are less fortunate from feeling bullied. According to Fox News, Woodchurch High School in Wirral in Northwest England has banned students from wearing jackets from Canada Goose, Montclair, or Pyronex, which costs up to a thousand pounds, uh, twelve hundred and eighty dollars in US dollar. So the school sent a letter home to parents and explained to them their reasoning behind this decision. As you all are aware, from an email that was sent out yesterday, pupils will not be permitted to bring in a Canadian Goose Montclair coats after the Christmas break. The support from the parents slash carriers have been over, overwhelmingly positive, and we are very thankful for this. Some have asked whether py, uh, Pyronex coats are also... They've asked whether our Pyronex coats were acceptable. So they said, I'm writing to confirm that these brands will also be prohibited after Christmas. Thank you for your ongoing support. Most of the parents seem to be on board, which is amazing. It's been the cause of bullying for so long, and those that don't have them can still wear them out of school. It's a win-win, one mother said. Brilliant thing from another high school. Parents should not feel pressured into buying expensive stuff so their child fits in. One parent felt some type of way and said, I think it's a joke. Some kids only have those coats. And I agree with that last parent. Some kids only have those coats. So I understand that the poverty shaming is sad and kids are going to get bullied. But I don't think you're going to tell me what I can and cannot. I'd rather be right. warm. Any day. Of Point the week. blank period. <laughs> I just, this, sometimes these types of stories, I understand bullying is bad. I was bullied. From the six, from the seventh until like the eleventh grade. I mean, what is bullied? But yeah, they're like I was picked on, made fun of, all that stuff. But like, nigga, grow some skin. Hold on, I didn't say that right. I know. I don't skin? Tell, yeah, toughen up. Yeah. <laughs> like I think we're making our kids too sensitive. I understand making kids wear uniforms so mm-hmm. that there's no separation, but you right. can't control a winter coat. Like, exactly. So are you gonna make everybody wear the same winter coat? That's like stupid. that's this I just think it's all awesome. even like even in uniforms, people still wore polo khakis versus like Walmart khakis. Like mm-hmm. there's still gonna be a difference because you you just can't as long as they're the same color. Yeah, you can't make a parent buy something they don't want to buy for their child. It if I work my ass off mm-hmm. and I want to give the best for my child, I'm going to give the best for my child. Like, it's no offense to the other people who don't have it because I didn't always have the Jordans and stuff, but I didn't feel less of. Yeah. Like, I wasn't made fun of for that. Yeah, I sympathize with any child who's been bullied because while it's it's small to us, it's huge to them in that moment. But I just think us knowing better as adults, it's kind of like, all right, no, toughen up. Honestly. This is what... I, you're I'm, not going to dictate what my child wears. If I can afford to give my child Montclair or Pyronex or whatever it be, guess who's coming in there with a fucking goose, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Whole head on the side. Right. <laughs> Sitting on the shoulder. No, but I think this this is why we get school shooters. Yeah. This why we get sco- oh, like the kids themselves? Yeah, because they're super sensitive. Yeah, they weak. Yeah. <laughs> you, you take it, they're super <laughs> sensitive. You make one little joke, I'm going to shoot up the house school. And that's that, it. Sounds like funny, but like it's the truth. <laughs> like we are making these big ass babies, and now they can't handle life because we done baby them. Let's like everybody gets a participation but award. They mama's week too. No, you <laughs> the, you participate. You don't get no fucking participation <laughs> award. You lost. That's real. You are a loser. That is except you're losing, and Everyone move on has- with life. And next time you can play somewhere. Everybody don't need to get a participation because guess what? You're not that good, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, you're not good. Not at all. <laughs> And we want him to be better. We want you to be better. We do. But guess what? You're not going to get an award for being okay. Right. For being mediocre. That don't work. No one awards for the mediocrity. No. No. Child. I'm, my child's coming in the finest of fat far baby <laughs> fat <laughs> with, with her jackets all winter long. Right. I want my child to come in there with the Gucci man bar. Yeah. Uh, you know <laughs> no. what? From, uh, my child is wearing Gucci slides to school tomorrow <laughs> just because. Fuck the coat. No coat, Gucci slides. Right, he'll be warm. <laughs> he'll be Can right. we talk about our bully stories? Sure. But I want to know from y'all first. Like, what's your worst bully story? Like, something that happened to you? Well, I think it was just an incompetent. People thought I was somebody else for four years. What? And I kept having to tell them. So I was bullied because they thought I was somebody else. So I switched school districts. And so they would have never bullied you if... <laughs> Well, what did they think I were, exactly? switched right. school districts in the sixth to this from the sixth to the seventh grade because we moved. Okay. When I moved, there was a male cheerleader at another school 
they thought that was they you. thought it was me. So every day I was bullied, and I've never they been you like. A cheerleader. They called me a cheerleader, <laughs> but then, it, <laughs> but then it got like worse. Like, oh, yo, gay ass cheerleader, oh, ugly ass cheerleader. Mm-hmm. It just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Like over over time, just kept. And what building. would you say? I'm not that nigga. Like I don't even know. No, who I this mean, guy like, is. would you just like keep walking with your head down? Or would no, you no, back? no. It never really got to me. Oh. I've always been weird, and I've always been Kelvin. I always oh, knew good. that. Like I was that shit Like I always I always feel like Everybody at Harding Which is why I don't Friend them on Facebook Or anything like that Was a whole bunch of Trash ass hood niggas That's never gonna amount to nothing They all fat and got kids now And they all still living in Fort Wayne Working that day And other uh, plants around there So God bless you on your journey Hope you clock in and clock out While you're listening Did you go to your 10 year reunion? <laughs> no I was class president Oh And guess who didn't plan it? Wow Me I planned the prom All the other shit I never even went to prom Well I did go to prom I went to see prom But yeah they just bullied me And then I was never like The hood dude and I always talk like this, mm-hmm. so people just will make fun of me for like. And where did you like, grow up? Fort Wayne, Indiana. Oh, okay. Which everybody else talks like me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They oh. just all try to be hood, and I just never, I never saw that for my life, and I just never saw that for me, at all. Okay. Uh, welcome, What's your belief? Oh, it's a whole party. Oh, it's a whole. Sh- it's y'all ruined the surprise. We was gonna I, come uh, in with y'all. You was gonna come in with us. You already here. Right. We was gonna go outside. He was, <laughs> but it's okay. Why are you gonna go outside? What the hell? What's the surprise? Going? I don't know. Yeah, I'll go outside with you. Aren't we telling bully stories? You are, and continue to do so. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know what's going on. I don't have my glasses on first because I have the hip films on. Uh, Never not extra just walked in. Keith is in here. Eric and Chris went to the car. Don't know why they went to the car. So we're trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Tavares, do you have a bullying story? I do, but I can't share it because there's kids in the room. <laughs> um, that's so we can talk about something else. Uh, I don't even know what to talk about. Let's see. Uh, I guess think about, uh, we'll go to number five because I don't know okay. what the hell's going on. Okay. So number four. You got your number four. Oh, number four. All right. Pharrell Williams says pol- people need to stand by Kanye West regardless of Trump's support. Now, Kanye West has been facing a lot of heat from petty uh, from pretty much the entire African American community for his relationship with Donald Trump, and while we have happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, y'all so lame. Happy birthday, oh. dear Kelvin. Are they pumpkin spice? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Kelvin's birthday is next week, y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all. Oh, how sweet. Y'all lame as shit for that, but thank y'all. <laughs> oh, I got a bottle! <laughs> y'all, thank y'all. That was really nice of y'all. You're welcome, bitch. Now Aww. talk about your bullying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. I already completed the bullying. We moved on to another story. Well, thank you guys. No, thank you guys. Honestly, I'm I'm humble. <laughs> I turn 25.5 next week, so. What? Keep those oh, too. Oh no, Keith turns 25.5 oh. next week too. So happy birthday to Keith. Everybody say happy birthday to Keith. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Keith. Good news. Happy birthday to you. Yes. Yeah, turn up. Turn, 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 turn. Let me get a that was round good. of applause. That was good. That was good. Thank y'all. Wow. Y'all look good. Y'all cute or whatever. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. I can't drink apple juice? <laughs> yeah, Chris is. Uh, I don't drink. Chris is Chris, busting down Chris apple juice. Apple juice see. while we have some rosé. Huh? I want you, you to actually that? drink that whole thing. Yeah, I'm not drinking that whole thing. I y'all, want, so, oh, you um, y'all have a cupcake I know, or whatever. I just like. Uh, you know I will. Juice. I'm gonna die. Y'all well, want to hear some of it? You better read since y'all are in the building. Yeah. Y'all want to okay. get? A, we got the cast and never not extra in the in the um in the building. And the man with the plan. Keep good news in here. So number four. I started reading it. Did you really? Yeah, I did, because I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And everybody just walks the fuck out, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? Okay, so then fill me in. I'm lost now, because I'm looking Are at you? cupcakes. Thank y'all. Okay. We so, do not agree with Pharrell. We should not still support Kanye. You oh, don't agree with Pharrell about supporting Kanye? No. Uh, didn't, I didn't read the whole story. I stopped. I'll, I'll finish reading it. Um, <laughs> we got the gist of it. Though. Yeah, and while many have turned their backs on... One of the most respected men in the music industry. One celebrity is still in Ye's corner despite his controversial political topics. Pharrell sat down with an exclusive interview with Complex and said that we need to 
love our brother regardless. We may not agree with him, but we can't stand by and watch anything happen to him because he's our brother. And we got to pay attention to the symbolism of what's happening. You know, that's our brother. Um, he also said, never have we ever in history have we ever witnessed a staple in the community be utilized in that way. In that kind of way with the kind of real insp impression. Uh, so I look at the symbolism of that and I say, man, that's our brother. We don't want to abandon him because he's fundamentally disagrees. We care about his well-being. Uh, and that's a lot of stuff. It is a lot of stuff. Honestly, Pharrell, I mean, this is the thing. Black people are ready to cancel everybody. Right. All right. I was scrolling through them comments and they was like, you can get thrown out too. Right. You starting to look old. We about to cancel your ass. I'm just like, God damn. You got a wife that ain't black. Right. Get out of here. Nobody is safe. So Pharrell, honestly, just keep being happy and cutting your tracks and leave Kanye where he be because baby... Nobody is safe. Y'all know how to delay reaction. I'm getting misty eyed. Thank y'all for these cupcakes. <laughs> y'all know I'm emotional. I've been trying to hold it. Don't, Don't get that fucking camera out of my face. Thank y'all. <laughs> you that want your Britney? Really nice y'all. Number five. Why did God give me this life? <laughs> <laughs> Number five, guys. Okay, so Janelle Monet is to be honored with the Trailblazer Award at Billboard's 13th Annual Women in Music event. I know, right? I love me some Janelle Monae. So Janelle Monae will be honored at by Billboard at this year's Women in Music event in New York City. You got a cup? No. Ain't nobody drinking this. I Take just, it straight I to just, the I head. was going to ask straight you if you brought cups. I didn't because I wanted Kevin to drink it and I know oh. he'll pass it away. <laughs> and I want you to get exactly. fucked up. Exactly. I was going to like say, yeah, yo, drink it. Eat a cookie, guys. And eat a cupcake. So They're pumpkin according, spice. All right, I know you happy, but I'm going to get through number five. I'm going to get through number five. According to Billboard, she'll be honored with the Trailblazer Award, which is awarded to an artist that acts as a music industry pioneer by using her platform to spotlight unheard voices and break ground for future generations of performers. Jason Lipschitz, which sounds like something out of Rugrats, does it not? Jason who? Lipschitz? Lip Lipschitz. That, uh, is, it, uh, is it that the therapist? Angelica's mom? Yeah, yeah. Dr. Lipschitz. Lipschitz? Dr. Lipschitz. Yes! <laughs> wow. Okay, so Jason Lipschitz, that's iconic. Billboard's editor director said Janelle Monae's insatiable drive to incorporate new untold stories into her artistic projects while synthesizing classic that time that did it Ooh, um, yeah. classic <laughs> funk soul R&B jazz hip hop and rock makes her truly a unique voice Popular music is more interesting today because Janelle Monae is a part of it. Janelle Monae has used her platform both inside and outside of music to help push women forward. Her latest album, Dirty Computer, released earlier this year on April 27th and reached number six on the Billboard Top 200. She followed up with Dirty Computer, a motion picture to illustrate the music. So shout out to Janelle Monae. I think she's fucking ass. Janelle Monae has been everything since she came out in like 2005, and I'm happy that she's finally getting her flowers. She's so unique and... And thoughtful, like she put. She's like a young her, Erica I only in hear my her mind. Singles, like I didn't know she was this dope. Oh, like she's super dope. You need to watch her uh, movie. She's what movie? Her movie. The, the oh, computer. the um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The videos were. She does like visual um, albums and. Oh, does she? They're Janelle Monae is They're super. All yeah, because I'm talented. struggling. I'm the struggle with. I've been trying to open that for like five minutes. <laughs> have you? Yeah, I really have. But Janelle Monae honestly is so underrated, and. And she's in the she, league. She deserves everything own. that, that She's a very pretty out. girl. She's very. a very beautiful girl. Her skin is gorgeous. Yeah. She's a cover girl. Let's not forget. That's right. That's true. Okay. But that was off a of bitch. You better read. Oh, that was a quick bitch. You better read. Was it? Yeah. It was like you had a whole birthday there. celebration mm -hmm. in between <laughs> it. Right. But a few of those, we just read the titles anyway. <laughs> we <laughs> we didn't need to get into it. it. Yeah. Because it's self-explanatory. It's pretty straight yeah, I got to cuts it. for everybody. Chris, are you going to teach us how to make Thanksgiving food? No, it's for first timers. So what? What can you can I do? YouTube first, channel. I'm about to, hold on. You got an announcement. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> Should we pass the cupcake? That's like definitely. Uh, she got an announcement. <laughs> no, I meant she can't drink because so she's pregnant. Chris is supposed to be doing hold on, hold on. his Chris toast, but he's pulling up. His oh, hold on. Document. Chris is pulling up his document. I guess I'll do a toast. Here you go. Chris, are we gonna do a toast? Oh, okay. Just any more red cups? Drinks is being passed, y'all. Don't think we're neglecting you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think we're neglecting you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, you everybody's so in the good. building. I know they all look good. They everybody got one? They came cute. through dripping. I don't know what's going on today. Everybody got one? Yeah. Y'all cute as shit. Y'all come to the party? <laughs> yeah, you can wear that to the party. I can't dance, though, because... Ooh, my you can't dance? It's okay. 
<laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we won't have a cooch slip. It's a coochie cutter. Are well, you safe in here? <laughs> a coochie cutter? I, hey, can y'all bring y'all single friends to the show? I mean, to the party too? Because there's a lot of single guys that are gonna be there, and they they like they like women. So we we trying to play oh, matchmaker. No, no, okay. You can bring no, you can bring guys for me too. Oh, okay. Bring guys yeah. for Kelvin because <laughs> you feel me. For every two but, uh, females you also, bring, you gotta bring a nigga for us. But you got, <laughs> but you also gotta bring some girls. Make sure they wear green. I'll send a text right now. Okay. Make sure they wear green. They wear green. Will somebody make it a toast? I don't know. <laughs> You don't have friends. These are your friends. <laughs> Chris, you go for it. These are my friends. The toast? Yes. Oh, we're making I would toast. Love to here. Oh. I would love to. Um, this okay. show has just went off. I wasn't off. prepared. Jasper said, who's pregnant? <laughs> I ain't going to say, but uh, she is it, one third of Never Not Extra. I'm spreading rumors. <laughs> here. All right, so everybody raise your glasses. So yeah. let's toast to uh, 45 years of life. Yes, 45. Amen. And, uh, Keith as well. Let's Keith toast to 46. Well. Yes, yes. Right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, we wish that you have a successful birthday, a successful Aww. birthday party, and um, a successful another year that you are here on this earth. Thank you. To three decades of fuckery. To yes. Kelvin. Yes. Yes. More love, more life, All more right. thotting and bopping. Right. Bopping. All of that. All of that. <laughs> Is this, oh, what, this is what is this? Uh, this is rosé. I don't know. I just picked something up. Oh, this is for, high the quality. first shit you saw. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and it was a nice color. I was like, all right, because everything else like was just good. white and clear. I was I like, like yeah, this will do. All right, so this week we got Chris oh, hold tips. On. Hold on, Chris. We'll put this in the light. I know. It's, I think it's my one of my favorites. That's a favorite drop. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say it, say it again. <laughs> I oh, said, it's time for Chris tips. Everything. Oh, like rib tips. <laughs> oh, Chris, I can't cook it. I don't know how to make ribs. That sounds so good. You should start making ribs. Yeah. I don't know how to make ribs. Mm-hmm. They call them Chris tips. Chris rib tips. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> this week the tips are called Thanksgiving dinner for first timers. <laughs> so. Number one is make a list. The first thing you need to do is make a list. Uh, with so much going on this time of the year, it's easy to forget things. So take a few minutes to write down um, a list of the guests who's coming and a list of food that you need to get. And uh, Because no one wants to keep going to the store over and over. Because I know I hate that when my mom makes me do it every morning. Number two is shop early. As they say, the early bird gets the worm. Waiting until the weekend of Thanksgiving will only make your shopping trip more difficult. Um, there will be more people in stores, and you will have to wait longer in lines, and the stores could be sold out of popular food items. You ever went to Thanksgiving, uh, like a rouse or something, like the elbow noodles be gone? Yes, yeah, so then you got to use like the other noodles, and everybody be mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but, but then, like, I remember last year, we had to go all the way to fucking, um, I feel like we went to, like, Tarzana or some shit. But why y'all wait till the we last went, minute though? No, we needed more noodles. Oh. Where the fuck is Tarzana? Tarzana is like in the middle like, of nowhere. Up, up, up the one yeah. Over. Like far as shit. It sounds like it. Yeah. Tarzana? Far as shit. The only Tarzana I know is in the fucking jungle. So Tarzana <laughs> has to be somewhere in that. It's like up. In the uh, I think it's by like the, Studio City. Yes, oh, it's, no, it's way past. Oh, way past that? Got it. was around up there. It's past Woodland Hills. And we and we were in Inglewood. Ah, okay. Number three is don't turn down help. Preparing a meal uh, I'm sorry, this size. Did this just get really loud. Run Like, yeah. what the hell was that? So, if people offer, don't turn down the help. Whether it's offering to help in the kitchen or set the table or even a, bring you a dish for dinner, you should always welcome the help with open, open arms. Number four is stick with the classics. People don't want you to reinvent Thanksgiving. They want a turkey and ham with dinner, all the fixings. Those uh, classics can be turkey, stuffing, yams, macaroni and cheese, and sweet potato pie. Plus, trying out new shit on Thanksgiving that that's going to cause a fight. Because I'll be somebody else. They say, all right, guys, here comes a shepherd pie. Or just some bullshit like that. Absolutely motherfucking not. Do you? What is that? I hate shepherd's pie. It's like meat, it's like cheese. Yeah. It's not shepherd's bad. Pie. It's not oh, my go-to. Right no. You want a cookie? Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't like it. It's hey, not you want a cookie? Oh, whatever. Or a cupcake? Yeah, that's how, that's how, that's what it sounds like to me. But it's like mashed potatoes, cheese, and some other shit. And number five is prep as much as food as you can in advance. The most stressful part of Thanksgiving is serving it on time. Because if niggas say dinner is at five, I'm expecting to eat at five. First of all, that's too late. Ten. Can we eat at noon? Noon? Yeah. That's kind of early, ain't it? Ain't you supposed to start the night before? It's like two or that's three. Brunch. I mean, certain no. shit, yeah. You can I don't start like the night before. Late. That's stupid. Are you supposed to eat breakfast? By four, I need to be I on never, my second the meal. The day of, I never eat until yeah, shit is ready. I don't eat until I, I, I drink water. That's food. it. <laughs> we used to eat at 12 in my house. You should, if you want to eat more, 
Mm-hmm. I want to eat that breakfast time. <laughs> no, I don't eat shit at all. No, I know we usually start. My stepdad usually starts cooking the greens and stuff like the day before, mm-hmm. and then we don't eat till like three, that's five next. That's day. too late. This year we're doing Friendsgiving, so my family's coming out here. All my friends are coming. They'll be here on the show next week. So if y'all want to eat some ratchet people, come to the show next week as well. Oh. Um, it's gonna be real fun. They're all coming on the show. Really? Tawanda's coming. Are you serious? Braxton. Side note. Tawanda said she gonna come to the show, but you gotta stop all that cussing. Oh, I, I'm gonna have to be absent. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't be here. But then she's like, I can't tell that man he grown. He gonna do what everyone do. I'm just in the corner. I said, okay. Who's mom. Tawanda? Your sister? My, oh, mom, his mom. mother. My mother. I'm supposed to censor my bitch. No, Look, she, she, knows. <laughs> she already knows. She, my stepdad cusses every other word, so she'll be good. But yeah, they'll be my here. type of. But guy. no, like I'm supposed to be providing this dinner, this Thanksgiving dinner. You don't eat meat, and y'all know I don't cook. And so you don't eat Kata. me. Oh, Chris, Wait, is you supposed to be cooking? <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's you. Was it? That was you. You heard oh, shit. I ain't on the yeah. That was you. Baby. You no, are fucking that cupcake up. No, that could have been, been, been you. That could have been you. I oh. eat a lot. I learned how to eat I in was silence. Back no, that was that was you. I was all the way back you here. You was over here busting a freestyle with the cupcake. No, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. That's how he got this girlfriend. That was how he got the That's how he got the new girl. All right. Wet mouth. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, what was I asking? Oh, so you're like cooking? Corbin's cooking. Corbin went to school uh, for, he's a chef, so he went to school for two years. But, what's up? My cousin. My cousin Corbin. My twin cousin. Yeah, twin cousin. So, I'm Kelvin, he's Corbin. We're born two days apart. Wait, his name is Corbin and he cooks. Yeah, like, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. (laughs) That's just how me and Kevin is. Me and Kevin is three weeks apart. Really? Uh, Yeah, and three weeks apart. Literally three weeks. Was one of y'all bigger than the other? Well, he's significantly taller than me. Well, Corbin's like was wider than me, and I was like a little one. So since we were, like two days apart, they used to dress us alike. But they always thought <laughs> they thought we were twins, so they thought like Corbin like would eat all my food in the womb, or like wouldn't let me eat after I got out. It was really weird. So they used to like judge my mama. <laughs> <laughs> like why you got why you got one big baby and one bad baby? But no. Uh, <laughs> you better <little> napkins. <laughs> well, but they'll, they'll all be here next week. So I'm trying to figure out what the hell to cook. Because there's a turkey uh, outbreak, right? Salmonella outbreak. So yeah, I think I'm going to do a fish fry. I ain't with no turkey this year. Salmonella. Oh, just ground turkey? Oh. Uh, but don't ground turkey come from regular Regular turkey. turkey. That's what I thought, too. So maybe I'm tripping. What would you typically make for Thanksgiving? I've only cooked Thanksgiving dinner once before when I was living in Kentucky, and I didn't go home. Mm-hmm. And it was, um, I made some yams. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I, I made it. a turkey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But if you don't cook, who showed you? How did you make that? I'm not trusting it. How to make the yams? Well, I called my stepdad. My stepdad is the chef of the family because Tawanda don't cook. What do you put in your yams? So we this put. It's going to determine everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we first we we bake our yams. So we I've first uh, put. Yams. Oh, there. You look real nervous explaining your. Yams. Yeah, because I feel like y'all about to judge me. <laughs> because let me precursor to this story. When I was in college, I did not know until I got to college that people ate ramen noodles as a meal. We just want to know what you put in yams. No, I, I'm trying to say <laughs> so y'all can know where I come from. <laughs> And when I first saw people eat these ramen noodles, and it was, I was like, y'all about to eat that by themselves? And it was like, yeah, like, what you fucking mean? And I'm like, y'all ain't got, that's, that's a, y'all ain't got no chicken or nothing to go with it? Oh, you come from upper middle class? Yeah. <laughs> so I thought this was really weird. <laughs> I, which is probably why I was bullied. <laughs> right. So <laughs> probably why I was bullied. So the yams, yeah, okay. <laughs> so first you're going you're gonna to come all up. You're going to put down some butter. You're also going to use some brown sugar. You can use some white sugar, some nutmeg, and some vanilla extract. And then you're going to make sure you have it at the right. You don't put no cinnamon thing. in there? You can put some cinnamon, but I don't like cinnamon in mine. Mm. I feel like nutmeg and cinnamon are the same. Yeah. yeah it'd like be cousins. too spicy. Hmm. But that's what I put in my yams. Am I, is that, do you do marshmallows No, I keep going. Too? That's it. I mean, I'm, I'm waiting to hear the rest of the, the, rest the, of the, the yams. Like, that's the rest of the yams. Do you do marshmallows too? No, that's weird. My I uncle does. I fucking hate when you do You put do marshmallows in yams? My uncle do. I hate when you do It's weird. My mom put pecans on hers. See, I don't like pecans. Yeah, I can't go to your mom's house. I don't like pecans. You don't like pecans? It's At like, all. It's like praline kind of on top of the... I don't like pecan pie. I eat the stuff under the pecan pie. Okay. Well. And What's Chris it? got a nut allergy, so he can't eat it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't either. Uh-uh. What? Your mom's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> just <Probably. laughs> Kelvin passing the energy back from I know. <laughs> right. Because they used to laugh at me because I ate Doritos with my nachos. And Doritos with your nachos. And that's a hood thing, ain't it? So do, yeah. do, you, do you put marshmallows in it? No. no so no, it's no. just... Just, just straight, just straight, just, yeah. the, and then like, yeah. and then like, once you bake them, the brown sugar and the uh, sugar gets like a nice coating over it, so it's it's really good. Okay, it's really good. I'll All bring right. you a plate. All right, cool. 
Well, let's hear your yams. Like yeah, you right. A lot right, more. Because you sound disappointed I, in my yams. No, no, I just, you know. Well, are, 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 are yours like whipped or is it like, you know, some no, people like make their yams like, like, like yeah, I don't, I don't, I I don't like that. mashed potato yams. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no. My uncle do that shit. Are yours whipped? I've, I've had them different ways, you know. Uh, I don't mind them being whipped. It don't, it don't bother me. It's only sweet. All. Do you like sweet, sweet yams or like, like sweet? Sweet, sweet as shit. They Definitely need to be sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. and buttery. I came yeah. there for yeah. a reason. Yeah. Definitely. And then sweet. I'm really particular about like food touching, but the only thing I allow to touch on my plate is the yams and macaroni and cheese. Oh, everything, my God. And yes. Everything else cannot touch. Like, I don't like my green juice on my. Uh, uh, okay. On my, yeah. uh, yeah. I like no, everything. I, everything got a. I don't I, like. I don't, like how, well, I don't get that. Like, I don't why don't people it. like their food to touch? You're going to eat it the fucking same, it's ain't nasty. you? Textures are different. It's nasty. You are so raw. Don't you eat burrito? <laughs> but, I mean, are, are you not, though? <laughs> I do eat a burrito, which is really weird. Hella shit in a burrito. Yeah. Everything so I don't get it. It's so weird. It's different textures. It's visual. For me, I don't care. Don't you put all the shit on the same fork? No, I don't. You have different forks? Hold on, are you talking about like... Like nigga, like, if I'm about, if one one bite, like let's just say I'm about to get some that. macaroni and cheese, yams and greens. Yeah. Oh no no no, no I don't bite. do that. You couldn't no, no, do that. No 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 no. Why? We don't do that. Really? No no. Calvin, I'm the same person that picks out tomatoes if I see them, but I will eat the tomatoes. So you don't lay balls when you eat out. booty hole. Oh my god, you gotta mix them. If I see them, I don't know how this. <laughs> that went real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying you can't do a separate. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the get right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. I don't bake them. I mean, I don't make it, but they bake it. I, I prefer it bake for Thanksgiving. But if it's like Thursday night, we just about to get this box. Crack Fucking max. easy, Mac? Yeah. Oh, no. Ew, Calvin. Come on. Come on Fourth man. regular night. I'm not talking about Thanksgiving. That's not easy even a regular night. night. Either way, no. bro. You don't disrespect. I don't want that shit. <laughs> right. You must be drunk. Gotta be. <laughs> easy, Mac? I haven't had that since I was fucking five. I don't think I've had that since I was in school and the cafeteria was trying it. Yeah. Peyton don't even eat that shit. <laughs> she don't. Peyton. Has she ever had it? Why do you eat she that? Don't, she won't eat it. Stop yeah. eating that. Mm-hmm. I don't eat it regularly. But um, you eat it. That's the thing. Yeah, toss that. I really was thinking about having sweet chicks cater and just like, fuck it. Oh, for your birthday? I don't for know the birthday oh, for and, for, and for Thanksgiving. Oh, that's a, good, that's a good way to go. Speaking of birthday things, support black businesses, but if they not on their shit, walk away. I don't talk to niggas at the fire. Wait, what? Make me so mad sometimes. <laughs> Who, Sweet Chicks? No, not Sweet Chicks. Who? The study. What about them? I don't know if somebody black owns that. They don't, nobody black owns that. Like, the person out there, their connect is... Nigga. Yeah. Mm. What happened? That's just, uh, respond They're not to, listening. Respond to emails. This, it's simple. Just respond to an email. That's all you have to do. Maybe they busy. Mm-hmm. Get it's, his number and text him. I'm busy, too. Or maybe you just not on a priority list. And that's the problem. That's not a problem. They could be that busy. That is a problem. But if because the party is on Saturday, the party that kind of is, is Saturday, a and I don't, <laughs> <laughs> And I still have questions about my menu, that's a problem. Because well, I why have, didn't you ask when you first booked it, coming. though? Oh, I did. Oh, pull up. I have Negroes coming, and Negroes like chicken. Yes, absolutely. And dip. Uh, and I told you to get stuff. Chick-fil-A to cater. I'm, get the I'm, nugget I shit. Dip. I was gonna get I was gonna get sweet chicks to do it, and then they're gonna do like the chicken biscuits, and then they had the mac and cheese because I got to connect. You know, well, we should we should have just got the Mexican homie from down from down the block. We really Mexican, could. or we could yeah. just got some crispy taco. <laughs> yeah, we- <laughs> <laughs> why'd you get a taco truck? I guess a taco truck. I could tell them to pull up in yeah. front, like two fifty. No, actually, so need my, um, one of the people on the block owns a food truck, but it's like burgers. But also real cool with the vegan burger place. Mm-mm. And they got a vegan burger <laughs> spot. I'm not eat Everybody loves right, tacos, No bro. one wants nothing vegan. There's also a Popeye's down the street. So oh, we can just now that is the way to go. We can really just walk down to Popeye's. Get a box and really do it up. You can put it in some pans and it makes the you feel better. No, not okay. What, Pass not? the bucket, everybody. I, I, I got a bucket of Popeye's going around. Everybody just one piece in the biscuit. Oh, no. I don't think Wash Popeye's does buckets. Take around some napkins. Isn't it boxes? Either way, I think that that's a way to go. If you, you really want to have chicken, then you're not going to make it. Go no, but they, they have six days to get back with me. So, if not, it's gonna be tacos. If not, if not, uh, niggas gotta eat before they get there. Yeah, oh. but it's a party <laughs> too, so cool. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and I uh, DJ Dash is uh, DJing, um, and I sent him a nice twerk list of the songs <laughs> they play. So it should be good. Yeah, you gonna have to put you gonna put some <laughs> biker shorts on. It's gonna be a good time. I got, I got people it coming too. So they, are they it's coming in green? I told them they gotta come in green. Cause I am. I don't know door. if niggas gonna adhere. Now, niggas, Keith, niggas, I will I really, I will really hate for them to drive all the way from where they're coming. From. I know, I know. I tell them to come in green. But I you will know how really, I know it's imperative. What I kind of niggas really, are they like niggas or like 
No, I nigga, like, really you know, hate what, what kind of niggas, niggas is frat? Oh, I would really hate for your frat brothers to be turning. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, your I, frat, too. I know. <laughs> you got the signal walk them niggas by. I remember, like, thank you. I appreciate y'all. Go mob on your journey. <laughs> but uh, you ain't got on green, bruh. This ain't that type of problem. It's, I think it's, it's going to be fun, though. I'm looking yeah, make sure they wear some green. What's the, the smallest piece of green a person can wear that's acceptable? See, this is my thing. I'm not really tripping on how green the outfit is. Mm-hmm. My thing is I don't want a lot of non-green colors. Okay. Because it's a it's a look, it's an aesthetic, it's mm-hmm. a feel, it's a vibe. Right. Right. So don't come in here with your orange, don't come in with your purples, don't come in with your reds. Yeah, I see what you're yeah. yeah. So like green and then like your neutral colors like browns Black. and blacks and grays yeah, and whites, all mm-hmm. that stuff's cool. But don't come in here with nothing, you yeah. know. I got a videographer coming, he's taking pictures and video. Well, like a cure or yeah. yeah, yeah. We <laughs> trying to make it we trying to make a vibe. When mm-hmm. this goes up on the that. internet, we trying to break the internet. It's black right, excellence, you right, feel right. me? Right. In Mexican excellence, respect. Jack is I respect that. Yeah, amen. So. <laughs> amen. I respect that. I so respect yeah, that. it's a vibe, it's a feel. But are you really gonna kick niggas out though? I th- I really honestly think I may. If you're because this he is my Well not kick him out, turn him away. He he has to say it either way. This is this is my thing. The invite says Did you send him invite? I, no, I'm I'm bad at that type of shit. I'll like send that. you the invite, and I'll send you the lookbook, and I'll send you the text. Okay, I just so, uh, say, hey, yeah, because it's up. a it's a lot. <laughs> We're green, nigga. It's a lot, mm-hmm. but um, what was I about to say? Y'all I was really debating about. on getting t-shirts. I know you're probably wearing the T-Rex. I'm, I really think I'm going to wear the T-Rex. I, I it's going to add to the aesthetic. I tell you, you, <laughs> you you will be probably be the highlight of the party. See, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it because all my friends are just like me. So they're going to encourage the foolishness. See, see you know what I'm saying. That's why. That's why we get along. It's it's <laughs> it's going to be rather interesting. Yeah, that's a word. But I, no, yeah, just wear wear fucking green. They ain't got to be all green. I don't think you I'm not even. I don't think you need to buy no damn t shirts for nobody. No. Oh, I was like, really, I'm not, I'm oh, not buying that's somebody a t shirt. I was really thinking about buying like green t shirts for those people who aren't in. Just go because why, why I just feel, waste your money? I just feel like it needs to be the look. The look needs to be there. Why don't you do like the green, like fucking, like in two fucking Mardi Gras nice. bees or People, whatever? Nine nine cents. The green. You, but if you, know. you have on red and you got them, to, it's not really. I mean, I just figured it's you know. But you really gonna waste fifteen dollars a shirt? Yeah, for a motherfucker saying. who yeah. don't listen. Yeah, that's right. Security at the door is just gonna turn you away. That's it. Because when Cardi had her party, I ain't gonna be there too long. When Cardi had her birthday party, party. Didn't, wasn't there a fight? <laughs> wasn't there a fight? That was fashionable. Well, that was fashionable. Oh, when was Cardi fashionable. had her birthday okay. party, it was mandatory all black, and they were turning people away for wearing denim at the door. Mm. And I feel like if Cardi can do it, I can do it too. Yeah. All right. It's about the, <laughs> hashtag Liddy in Emerald City. That's the hashtag oh, Liddy in Emerald City. Tag all your pictures. I'm about to buy a whole bunch of Polaroids so we can. Do you have a geo filter? Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's a camera girl. You spy. <laughs> you is a spy Harriet The spy <laughs> Stupid as hell Who <laughs> making it Torian Uh I Does people get on Snapchat I don't know Everyone I be forgetting Snapchat. I have Snapchat Because I don't know How you make an IG filter I, don't think I know you, you make a Snapchat filter But I didn't think People you got pay on pay for that filter You can like transfer the videos On uh, Instagram On Snapchat I don't think on Instagram you can do that. Yeah. I ask Ray. Ray knows. You know. Yeah. Yeah. She she knows how to do that. I'll ask her because I didn't yeah. know people. That's and why I didn't think about it because I didn't think nobody did Snapchat anymore. Yeah. You better do it now because you got to take days to, I don't to get it. Approved, yeah. I don't at know if it costs so. money at all. It it's, like it's, it's, it's like five dollars. It's like five It's cheaper shit. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was real cheap. That's genius, right? Super smart. It's just they're such bad business people at Snapchat. Genius. Jesus Christ! God damn it! All right, who's reading this question of the day? I wrote it. You did you? Yeah. I was so I was about to ask that you read it. I haven't I think read I wrote the question it. of the day in so long. See, he don't even know if you wrote it. I gotta see what it is. A lot goes on in the week. <laughs> did you write that? Oh yes I did. Okay, 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 okay. When'd you do it? I wrote this when I put in the um the most sucking um uniquely speaking. Yeah, uniquely speaking. Thank I you. put the uniquely speaking in there. <laughs> I put the uniquely speaking in there. How do you no, know you when is uniquely speaking? Because he because it would be like two and he didn't do that one. So I like no put no it no no no. One. This was last week because the this is a new one. Oh, that is new. What's it called? That one. Ready set go. So what's the one I just had in there? The one you had in there last week. Fear of flying. No, like yeah, fear today. Of flying. Okay. Yeah. I don't believe you. Thank you. God bless you on your journey. Um, the question of the day: What are things that you are most grateful for? But you take for granted the most. Cause I think you know Thanksgiving is the time we all like reflect on like things that we're grateful for, mm-hmm. but we don't really pay attention to the minute things and the iota of things that that go on in our life. So what is what are you most grateful for? But you take for granted the most. Toilet paper, toothpaste, and soap. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think yeah. You don't realize how Basic essential toilet paper is to your life. 
everything. How do you take it for granted, though? Down. You know how you just... It's Big one of those things that was always there, so you never thought about how much money you would spend out of your pocket to maintain that. Toilet paper? Yeah, like growing up, your mom had the house just like oh. stacked with shit, yeah. and you don't realize how much individually all that shit costs. Moving out, the first the first thing, I was like, shit, I ain't got no toilet paper. And you go and it's like six dollars. Y'all don't go to the but dollar you, store. Yeah, if you get no, like a big ass one. No, because I'm oh, you used upper to middle class. I, upper well, the dollar store that shit thin as hell. <laughs> that shit is thin as hell. <laughs> Do they? If you don't want your ass to bleed, you got to get the right toilet. You got to get exactly. the right yeah. toilet. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm shitting once a day. I, I need the right toilet paper. You only shit once a day. I, at least, at minimum. Is that's this going to be a conversation? And me too. I'm back. There. Peyton got me one time. Like this. That's it. This is really going to be it. Oh wow. Okay. That's why I flee every year. <laughs> what? <laughs> I shit at least five times a day. You shit five times. No, I think I do. I promise you. You shit yeah, five no, no, times no, Chris, a day. Chris, Chris really does. Are you dying? No, no. Chris that's does like. I think that's very natural. Day. You're I, very, you're very regular. I don't know what you eat though. I, you know why he I, coffee? What's apple wrong juice. with apple juice? Oh, apple juice does make <laughs> you really regular. It. It but I don't oh. drink apple juice on a regular. Yeah. But when I start eating, when I start become pescatarian, eating more vegetables, I start going more. But then my my it smells different now. Yeah, like when I like eat it's more regularly, that's when I shit more. Bro, if if you shouldn't find that means you pinching, you're not letting it like all go out. Yeah, I do. I spend at least 15 minutes on toilet. No, you need to spend like a good 30. That's a lot 30. to me. No, that's actually unhealthy that you spend that much time. This on is why Chris no, ain't got shit to out. talk about every time his week come around. Because he's on the toilet. I'm always shit right. on the the toilet. <laughs> How's your week? Got shit. I was on toilet. <laughs> that's why this nigga be, that's why he be trolling and shit. Yeah, that's why y'all was on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's very regular. Never touch his phone. That's Never. So that's very regular. That's done. That's a lot. That's a lot, bro. That's I don't think like that's a lot. It don't hurt. It's shitting. Like yeah. you're just shitting. You should be wrong. A lot of shitting. You ever had hemorrhoids? <laughs> Booty no. just wrong. Never had a hemorrhoid. <laughs> oh, that's right. that I know of. <laughs> I've had a hemorrhoid before. Oh, oh you can? Yikes. Yeah. That's yeah. from strain. I never had a hemorrhoid. Or just, or just sitting on the toilet. Yeah, so There's shit that's in your stomach, right? No, no, no. no it's it's like, your like ass. Oh, bumps in your ass. If you got a bump, you'll know you got it. Mm-hmm. Well, no. Nah. Shit just come right up. It sounds like it hurt. Hey, it's uncomfortable yeah. as hell. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the worst. Shitting? No, no, the hemorrhoid. Oh. You can get them cut out, right? Yeah, you can get them surgically removed, or you gotta wait for them to like, like basically go back to being small. Oh, no. you can get a cut. Yikes! Oh, but can't crazy. you get a hemorrhoid like in your stomach? Because I know oh, that's, that's, a hernia. that's a hernia. Oh, yeah. I think that's something totally different. <laughs> so, <laughs> so back to the question I talk yeah, about shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jackie said, "Stop." <laughs> so, what are the things you are most grateful for, but you take for granted the most? I like the the basic the necessities. basic necessities is my point. I also think I take for granted just like people. Mm-hmm. I'm really grateful for friends, and I think this week I really thought about that. Like my niggas is flying in for on Thanksgiving for me, and that's like really I'm probably gonna cry later Aww. or now. You know I me, mean? so mm-hmm. like that's really humbling to me. Like that means that you actually care. Like you going away from your family to spend a little bit of time for me just to turn up, and I, I'm grateful for that. So I think we take for granted the people in our lives sometimes until like they're actually gone. And like that Kim Porter thing really made me think about that. Mm-hmm. Like she's 47. Like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm 60. You know I'll be 60 next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm God. I only promise you 72. <laughs> that's if you're good. You know. So that just simple things like that. <laughs> also, when I found out the meaning of life when I was high, I also realized that I can oh control God. this stuff. Which was on mushrooms? No, I took an edible. Yeah, mushrooms is a huge stuff. Edible and tequila. Yeah. Edible and tequila. You don't and take the edibles. Room. It's not a fucking yeah, Advil. You know. <laughs> I took it in my arm like it was, like it was heroin. That's why, that's why people think we just drugs. Yeah, <laughs> shit like Kelvin. I and they be it. saying wild shit on the air. <laughs> I took it. Oh, you took one on air? No. No. You should. You should it. next week. I should because all my friends will be here, so you, they would help. You me. should, you should definitely, you you should definitely take an edible. He would have to take the edible like, like like before an hour the show. Yeah. No, 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 no. I can take, take it at the, the top at the show, and then it would no, kick no, in. At it the don't kick in that an hour. Uh, I've done it, and I've had to stop. Not to stop the show, but halfway, I was like, "Yo, I'm fucking tripping." Do it an hour yeah, before. The second, the second half of the show would be psychedelic. I think you should do it. I'm in. We got my vote. Thank you, Keith. I support it. I'll be here to witness. You will be, and they got, and we all got your back. I'm, I'm We're doing the edible at the beginning of the show. Oh, edible, Keith can't yeah. get high. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Keith on get... apple juice. Are you? Because you, you didn't have a drink. No, no, I'm not. I'm not drinking or smoking. Until I don't. I don't have a time limit. I'm just. Uh, that's I'm good. Can we give him a cl- round of applause? Yeah, we that's can. Good. That's good. That's yeah. so good. You know, I stopped too. Hold on. Yeah, I'm just Kelvin. To <laughs> I did stop after I died, but then I, I kept going. <laughs> you, what you talking about? Getting high, getting drunk? No, you just drunk some of that. Chris, this was. I I stopped in September. This is my new best friend. That was in September. I'm addicted to wine. 
He better drink that shit. Addict. Right here, he only all, only <laughs> saw him drink. Right. That shit was not on sale. Right. Yeah. Fuck your fat. Because anyway. all he had was a sip. So everybody else, what are you grateful for that you take for granted? I don't fucking know. I gotta think. Sometimes I think we should like think of the question. Like I need to know the question first. Well, mm-hmm. the question today was put in there this time rather early. I don't. Was it yesterday? No, no it was not yesterday. It was I, this fucking morning. Think, no, I honestly think I put it in Tuesday. Oh wow, bullshit! Because I I remember putting this in Tuesday. And you send them on Monday. Hmm. Another thing I say, I'll um, I'll say I'm grateful for. Like I was walking around during my lunch break yesterday, and I was looking up, and I'm like, "Yo, I'm in California," and I, I always told to myself that. I wanted to be here. So to look up and know I'm here by myself, like, is dope as hell. And you're doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was gonna say the same. Living in LA, I think. Yeah. And unless you go out and really experience other places, like mm-hmm. you know, when we went to Pittsburgh or just other places, it's like. <laughs> it, it's very it's a very interesting there's no place like la that's what i absolutely there's no place like la and um you know i i definitely take it for granted until you know you start to see other places you see why people mm-hmm. move here absolutely yeah. which, is, which is simone she posted something the other day y'all niggas gotta tell everybody else that it's terrible out here yeah, yeah. 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 i always come. tell people that oh yeah the fire scared a lot of people thank god <laughs> right, they're still here though, and we get earthquakes once a week. Yeah, it's cr- oh, so yeah, I, I tell them it'd be, I tell them it'd be like nine point eight. I tell them it'd be like right nine point eight. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Gas prices is seven dollars. Oh my goodness, a half a gallon. Yeah, I tell, yeah, I tell niggas the six. homeless people they live in your <laughs> front yard. <laughs> right, they live right. right in your front yard. Everybody not, getting shot. Look like Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll I tell them you can't wear red absolutely ever. No red, no blue, no blue, no purple. Got walking around naked and shit. Yeah, all white, all white. Yeah, like Instagram ain't a thing. What? So, whatever. That's they asking us. They, they ain't asking <laughs> That's Instagram. They asking us. That's Hollywood. Okay. I guess I'm gonna say my car because I hate driving, but like I have a car. You hate so driving? I, nigga, I hate driving with a passion. Yeah. Really? I love driving. With I do a passion. too. No, it's so liberating. I like driving at night time. I know. I, I hate driving. Mm-hmm. Night. Like I would rather Uber literally everywhere. That's because you don't smoke. What that guy's doing? Anything? Smoke and drive. That shit is an experience. It is oh, everything. No. Oh, no. Be that's an, that, yeah, it sounds no, very no. scary. That sounds very dangerous. It's very dangerous. <laughs> that shit, man. That's the best part of uh, it. Another reason why you shouldn't move to LA because <laughs> people are smoking and driving. Right. Smoking my, and driving. <laughs> my license is already cooked, so <laughs> it ain't oh, drinking and driving. driving. Yeah. It's oh damn. <laughs> smoke and fly. You got on the plane high before? Absolutely, all oh, the time. But oh, that's no. different. Than Wait, did you have did you have it like on your carry on? Yeah. I, you I had weed on your carry on? Yeah. I don't, they didn't I, arrest you? No. There are ways. Do y'all know what the fuck no, you, is? You, you can fly through with a pound. <laughs> you can? With, with, yeah, with, with, with an ounce or, ounce or a pound or a gram? A, uh, it's an ounce. An ounce. Yeah, you, depending you can on what the rules the are when you land. With weed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When we came back, he had a whole From, from California. California. Yeah. Are you fucking serious? I had a whole bottle of y'all, y'all realize that TSA is not a real thing. What you mean they're not a real thing? Like TSA is an illusion. It, it literally, what do you mean? It literally was created uh, after 9-11 to make I know, people yeah. feel more comfortable about flying. They've never stopped the bomb threat, and everybody that worked there got neck tattoos. So <laughs> it, it's, it's not it's not, it's not, <laughs> it's, it's not like a real thing. Like You don't have to have any type of training or any type of degree to... We're talking about somebody that's trying to but stop... But you a, still can't like have like a knife. The finest no, you know what? I mean, like fuck that. TSA, because every time I go through, they always throw... That part. Amen. But they always throw something away from me. Nigga, that, you, you can't probably be put, having. You don't know what the travel was. Your shit be this big though, probably. You're right. The, that's not gonna hurt nobody. Nigga, put it in your bag. You have to put it. Put in it in your there. check bag. Niggas yeah. don't check bag. I can't. I can't shit. fit it in there. And you gotta be a check under 50, ba- a suitcase. It gotta be under fifty pounds, Chris. I, 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 I don't. I don't you know how to pack. Point seven of a, a pound or something. I don't know how to pack. Like I literally pack six outfits for two days. You can't I don't know how to pack. So I need all that space. Never been the corporate. I mean, the corporate for fucking. They throw away a, my shea butter. They but throw now away my cookie peop- butter. But now people know. are getting crafty. Hairspray could be anything. It could be a canister of weed. It could be anything at this point. So I don't I mean, know you could walk through it like weed I've, and I've shit. never been stopped. Hmm. Yeah, I've, I've actually I've actually got on the plane with joints on my body. Like I'm wow, yeah. I'm shocked. I didn't know you could do that. Oh yeah, my friends are flying back. I wouldn't try all it. types. Of stuff. I don't recommend a bunch of people try this and really think you could get loose. But you can. Because if I was TSA, I'm taking your ass off the flight. Wow. If I'm not the flight. If you TSA, you smoke weed too. If I'm TSA, I'm taking the weed. (laughs) And they also, they serve (laughs) drinks on the flight already, so I don't know what's the matter like with all the other stuff. Well, if you've seen flight, then. Well, I I don't want my, I don't want my pilot drinking. No, absolutely not. Like my pilot shouldn't be high, but as a passenger that's sitting there in the seatbelt, he should be okay. Yeah, well, you're not, yeah, you're not. 
I didn't know you could do that though. I mm-hmm. was definitely about to be a hypocrite and say <laughs> drivers shouldn't do it either, but we just had that whole yeah, exchange. Just had, you just literally sure said did. You I'm just going to retract. Yeah, All absolutely. Every day. Yeah, like pretty much. If I have any drive over twenty minutes, I'm probably rolling up. Really? See, I I used to love driving. which is down the street in L.A. Because in Kentucky, all those back <laughs> literally roads, like a mile away. <laughs> literally, <laughs> <some> music. Because <laughs> that's crazy. I live four miles from my job. It takes me an hour to get to work. Oh my that's god! Because you also drive slow. Yeah, I, I drive right. cautiously. So you drive it's very it's slow. Such I drive slow too. There's also a it's such a difference speed <laughs> compared to most others. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's I'm so not, annoying. Hey, hey, yeah. I, I respect oh, I that. Oh, no, I hate that. I don't want to die. I hate I don't want to die. I hate I don't wanna risk my life. But then you text me when you get to a red light. Like, how does this work? Because sometimes, like, because if you text urgent, like, if somebody sends me, like, a double text, and it, then it'll come through. Okay. So then, then if, if I'm at a red light, then I'll look at it. Oh, thanks for letting me know. Have you ever been in a car accident? Yes. That's how I told my car. Remember? You, you were driving? I was driving. Oh, shit. And you still drive? Fast? In text? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Oh, Calvin. I whip Brian's car all the time. Oh. It's really. It's I hate really, being in the car with people who drive in text. I don't text while I'm driving. Brian does. Everybody. But does. I Come I on. um I stop at the red light. Like at That's the red light, I definitely put up my phone. And then like, okay, let's go. My line brother FaceTimes. With girls, uh, uh, and it infuriates. See, that's why you gotta have the the, 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 the little thing. He doesn't thing. Yeah. fucking have it on the dash. It's oh. in his hand. Oh, no. or, or, or but who, is he looking at the like? Is he like this the whole time? We are on the highway, and we are on the fucking ridges that let you know you are no longer on the highway. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, you still talking to her? She's that's not even the, fucking oh, yeah, cute. That's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not worth your life. What are you doing? <laughs> well, frustrating. I think it's time for. And everybody an answer. Oh, tomorrow. Oh, what I'm grateful. grateful. Being insane and stability. That's, that's right. right. Simone. Oh, um, health. Health. Yeah. Keep asking cookies. Wait, grateful or take it? Thank take you. What you take? Take, take for granted. Yeah. <laughs> take for granted health. And even when it's even when it's something like not as bad, like say you get a cold or something, and mm-hmm. you just like feel down, you know, you kind of take for granted the day that you can help to get you done. You know? That's real. Mm. Um, for me, probably yeah, my health and my job. Health and job. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be taking for granted my job, but fuck them niggas. Can't you say a job? Right. Yeah. We all do. Because I fucking right. hate my job right now. Amen. Yeah, I'm going to add that too. I fucking hate my job. Uh, yeah, I'm on the way out. <laughs> really? You got oh, so more many. people in the party. Jackie, what's up? More party people, more. Hey, Jackie, oh, thank you for that. <laughs> thank you. Jackie had Keep the right thank idea you. in mind. Thank you, Jackie. It, yeah, as, it's so funny. funny. Jackie. <laughs> Jackie is the latest on time person of all time. <laughs> I love it. And she got on her green. Mm-hmm. She Which does. is not off green. Her green's What's not up? off green. And Kosi's here. What's up, Kosi? <laughs> What's going on, sis? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I think it's time for. Hey, baby. Yes, it is time for If I Told You That. And today I wanted to take us so way, good. way back because that is my thing. Today's If I Told You That is what is one piece of advice you would give to your younger self? And to put an age range on it, I will do oh, from. No. I'll do from. Nine to fifteen. Damn, that's early. I'm gonna go. Mine don't reply now. Nine to fifteen. Nine to fifteen. Uh, that's when I was bullied. Um. <laughs> Are you serious? Wait, you said what yeah, that's when I was bullied yourself? from nine to fifteen. Well, that's like high school. No, it's nine, not. Nine, I started. I started high school at thirteen. Then you start high, thirteen. Yeah. Yes, thirteen. Ninth grade. Eighth, eighth thirteen. Well, no. Are you really? started in eighth. Ninth grade, I feel like we like nine 15. is fourth grade. At nine, I was definitely in. I'm talking about like 30, 15, 13 to 15? fifteen. No, like high school. Ain't you like you, 15, 16? Yeah, in high school. Yeah, yeah. He said like started 13. from nine. Started at thirteen. It's like thirteen. So eighth 18. grade. Yeah. Really? Yeah. If y'all pick no it. high school is eighth grade. I mean, if it's not <laughs> I mean, a middle school, school grade, just pick your own fucking grade. range. If y'all, 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 I think y'all taking it too literally. If it's not no, high school, it, is ninth grade to twelfth grade. Yes, no, <laughs> but you guys are years. you guys are taking nine through fifteen literally. It doesn't it's have to like be consecutive. No, I was yeah. taking the ages, the ages, right? Nine, no, age of nine. You know, it's fine. I, I, I was like five different people during that time. Just pick your own range. It's cool. He was bullied from nine to fifteen. Like nine years old to fifteen years old, right? Wrong with that. No, I this, think that's kind of no. old to be bu- at fifteen. <laughs> no, that's where <laughs> nigga, we're in high, high school. school. They roasting your ass, Chris. I, I got bullied like elementary. High no, school, I got bullied. High school, like money at high school. You know why, Chris? Me. Because you turned into a bully. Now we know I what's never going turned on. Chris, you were the bully. I was never bullied because I hated getting bullied when I was younger. And you, Peyton, did you get a cookie or a cupcake? Do you want one? She, she don't even like cake. You don't. She don't like cake. Ma'am, you know you the most healthy girl ever. She don't even like cake. 
I wish I was like you. What you eat on her? What you eat on your birthday? She get a cake to look at, but don't even eat it. Don't eat it. Do you like? Do you like dessert at all? Oh, what okay. dessert do you eat? Um, Give it to Mikey. Cream. Ice cream. Keith, you got to put her on cake, man. <laughs> put her on cake. Sorry, ice cream. I, I live with a person that make cakes all day. I know. So that's why she don't eat it. Yeah. Mm. That's probably why. Yeah. I had a good kid. Yeah, yeah, you do. Um, that's a blessing. She likes mm-hmm. vegetables. Child, my ass. Salad. <laughs> hey, she, man. She, 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 like, when she turned 21, what's she going to want, I wonder? I don't know. She, for, told for me cake. Ye- she told me yesterday to take the El Pollo Loco to get a salad. El Pollo Loco? Oh, wow. yeah. For a salad? For a salad. I've I've, never, are they classy. even known for their salad? You see, this Thanks is why it. Michelle oh. Obama was important. You are a right. Michelle Obama generation kid, and I appreciate <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Madam I didn't Michelle. even know they sold uh, salads. Exactly, because you went straight for the tacos. I don't even eat El Pollo Loco. You bully. I don't like El Pollo Loco. You bully. Anyway. It's kind of so okay, so what was what would you tell? We yourself, didn't even Kyle, get though? into it. That's deep. What would you tell? The yourself? show's over. No, um, I don't know. Pick I think. It, I was, so did we I take the age like, off? Pick your own damn. Range. Okay, mine will, <laughs> mine, mine will be don't settle. Don't settle. I never settle. Mm. And why would you? say What that? do you mean though? As far as like relationships. That's mm-hmm. what you would tell your younger self. Mm-hmm. Okay, now what? So what? Think about young that now. Shit? At what? Well, point? like like between twenty one and like twenty four. So that yesterday, <laughs> I'm 26. This is why I try to put a fucking range on the Chris. I'm 26. I'm yeah, sorry, I think man. you gotta do like Are teenage you years. Oh, we doing te- okay. 21 teenage. to 24, Chris. Oh, yeah. I'm see, not the same motherfucker four years ago. Nah, bro. You should have seen Eric's face. Man. I'm not that's, though. Like I'm, I'm not the same Chris I was five that's years ago. Classic. Mm, younger. <laughs> now we doing teenage. I really gotta think. I don't know. What you tell 15? And this is what we do like every week here at the Get Right. You know. Let's go high school. Can we just say that? High school. Let's do high school. Yeah, what we give you a high school? Let's just go high school. Probably to probably to take school more serious if we doing high school. Now you don't think you took it seriously? No, it didn't work Absolutely out for you. Ninth, ninth grade, I didn't. I did not care. I didn't take school seriously until my my senior year. Okay, Damn. and I probably would have had like a better. You turned GPA. out all right. Yeah, I probably would have had like a better GPA. I probably could have gotten a fam because that was my dream school. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> all right. Because I graduated with, with I, I graduated State high University school. I think with like on. a two point seven. I think. High school was super easy. I just went to see my friends. Like, I had to go, but, oh, like, right. I was really only there to see my friends. Wow. I was good in high school. I did great in school, but that's yeah, I didn't not... give a shit about high school. Yeah. All I cared about was band in high school. I didn't. That was it. You were in the band? Band in college. Band in college. 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 Band in college. That's why he dirty. I'm not. I wasn't a dirty bandsman. I, I, I hate <laughs> everybody in the band. Why didn't you so like KK side in? KK? <laughs> I, I asked him, like, can I join <laughs> literally just a stroll? Like, I don't want to go no chapter meetings, nothing. Like, can I literally just stroll? And it was like, no. <laughs> oh, which, so, who is gonna join? Alpha? They're also no, I'm a sigma. Oh, you're a oh, sigma? A proud oh. sigma. Don't, don't. Okay. What's up with you? These alphas today? This is yeah. the second time. Well, you an alpha, so I thought I'm not an alpha. Oh, oh, what are you? I'm a sigma. Oh. We're all. Sigmas. Are you sigma too? Are you sigma too? Yeah. Oh. Oh. All of us are sigma. <laughs> right here, right here. We interviewed the alpha last night. My bad. Let's say, what conversations have y'all had? <laughs> I'm, 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 y'all really know each other. I'm exposed. <laughs> I'm a perp guy. <laughs> I'm in perp. Wow, it's tragic. Ooh. But yeah, minor school. <clears throat> okay, so you would take school more serious. I don't. I probably just tell myself like, you're dope. Mm-hmm. Like, don't, don't, don't put your yourself to a standard of what other people are doing, which is kind of what you need to speak about. Just uh-huh. you're dope. Trust yourself. Trust your dopeness. Mm-hmm. So I agree with thing? that. Um, I probably would have came out of high school if I'd have did it over again. Mm-hmm. When did you come out? Twenty one. Oh. Wait, what? what? What he, he said he came out as a homosexual a male. Oh, I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Graduated. No. I'm like, damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, uh, you had night classes. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> hey, damn, you driving a bus to school? Like, well, damn. <laughs> driving <laughs> it, not riding it. Driving it. Boarding school, right? <laughs> Keith. Um, I think the only thing I would tell my, uh, I, you straight. I mean, like you know, you good. Like mm-hmm. you know, um, I think that. It kind of worked out how I planned it, you know. Mm-hmm. I decided in tenth grade I was gonna study communications because mm. I stuttered a lot. I'm, I'm about to fix this shit. <laughs> so you know, I think that I'm still kind of working on that, you know, um, to this day, still in my communicative aspect. So mm-hmm. outside of that, I just uh, <clears throat> some of the girls maybe I didn't shoot my shot. Maybe I would have shot my shot. Mm-hmm. That's probably me it. too. I would have shot my shot out of baby. Of yes, that's probably it. <laughs> yeah, I probably would've been the thought all up in the locker room, <laughs> right? <laughs> Not even the locker room; I would've been in everybody's room. I, I didn't, have, I, didn't, I didn't have confidence in myself until like eleventh grade. 
Mm. Like I think that's when I hit yeah, my growth spurt. No, I didn't. I honestly did not get confident in myself until junior year of college. Really? Okay. Well, I'm, no, I, I am. Yeah, that's that's really when I was like, you know what, Kelvin, you kind of cool. And I still think I'm lame as fuck. I don't think anybody showed up to the party. But I really think I'm lame as fuck. That's why I never I'm threw a birthday party. I never throw birthday parties for that reason. Too. Like I've never. This is my first birthday party. I'd be straight. Like stressful, ever. People yeah, come. I never, because I've always I never thought nobody party. was gonna show up. I only did one after that. Never again. Yeah, my twenty fifth so birthday party. I'm so lame. I'm I, so I threw lame. a birthday party when I was thirteen, and I remember that's when uh, Hollaback came out, and everybody oh, was doing a Holla 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 back, yeah. Everybody Ooh, was doing a Hollaback. Yeah, my brother, I was a shit. Mm-hmm. Threw that shit in my garage. What was your favorite <laughs> dance? <laughs> What was um, your favorite dance as a child? Chicken head. Back chicken head. Back chicken, head. chicken head for Tavares, life. Tavares, really? Wait. Definitely the crib ball. Juvenile. Back that ass up. That That's was your favorite dance. song or dance, dance and song? song. You know I what he was I doing said. to the song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is why you can't come back on the <laughs> Wait, Chris, you a chicken head? I used to dance when I was younger. No, 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 What y'all don't know? What y'all don't know? Let me tell. What y'all don't know? What y'all really don't know? Chris. Is a full ass dancer. Like when I, I tell you, though, like Chris no, can no, break no. dance. I can't no, break dance. Chris, I can't break dance. Chris has like the coldest Dougie yeah. I've ever seen in my life. When <laughs> I first seen Chris dance, I was like, "Who the fuck?" I is retire. This? Like I'm not. Chris. I don't dance at the party. At the party, yeah. We just gotta get at the party. Out we gotta get. I get give Chris. Hey, y'all. Chris. Give no. Uh, give I Chris at the party. I would dance. Give Chris two drinks at the party. I promise you. <laughs> like at homecoming. Homecoming. Chris did not stop strolling. Please, like, please I can't, man. Hit. I can't. Please, y'all sneak man. Chris too great. I don't remember how I do this shit. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all sneak know Chris too great. <laughs> I don't know how to do it no more. <laughs> I don't even know how to do it no more. Yeah. We're going to put him on the stage. I don't know how to do it no more. <laughs> Come if on, it comes bro. on at the party, I got you. No, nah, it's it's on right now. We at a party. It's on, uh, hey, we are. Hey, bottles. Hey, it's bottles. Hey, it's drink. Hey, I, can, hey. I, got, I have to feel like dancing. I have to feel like it. I, I, I can't. <laughs> when I dance, I gotta feel it. Like I gotta feel it. There you go. I, I, on, don't, feel it. I don't feel you it. I don't feel it. Like, no, I don't. Come on, tap. Come on Chris. <laughs> Get it, Chris. <laughs> That's why. I can't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember how I dance no more. It's okay. Chris will be. There. I told you I'm retired. Ladies, if you want to see Chris dance at the party, she pull up like the to study. Head. Make sure you got green on. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Yeah. No, I may dance. We'll see. You will. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to ask you guys that because, I mean, we all are in a different place than we are when we were younger, and you know so many, so many things that you wish you knew back then that shaped you. So it's good to reflect. For me, I would just tell myself, "Don't let up." Oh, like, another, you know another one? Don't let up. I, I used to be such a liar as a kid, so I would tell myself, "Like you can't stop keep, lying." Yeah, because I, I used to lie about dumb shit. What were you lying about? Like one time, you know, like pepper spray. My mom had pepper spray. My dumb ass. I think I was like nine o'clock. I mean, nine years old. I sprayed it on the wall because, like, I just wanted to see how it worked. I didn't know it came out the way it came out, and she was like, "Who the fuck did it?" I. I didn't do it, like, and I was the only one home, <laughs> and so I was like, I, I did not do that, and then I blamed it on my sister, and before she was about to get her ass beat, my sister snitched on me because somehow she recorded it, but yeah, so she I showed her. The, how did she have a phone back then? At how, what year was not nine? How old was you? Nine. I, think. I didn't get a phone. Oh, I was nine seventeen. Year in the third grade. Yeah. How did, so yeah, what she, did she was she was six on? years older than me. So, oh, well, she could have had a phone. She yeah. had a flip. Yeah. A flip, yeah, but, it went, but they wouldn't. Did they have a camera? Was, they didn't have no damn cameras. They well, she the razor. She had something. When she was fifteen, ten years ago. She had yeah, something. She had a flip Not phone. Not at nine. She, yeah, no, no, I wasn't nine. He was she, nine. I, I mean, she I was 15. nine. He was, was nine. She was yeah. sixteen. But so she definitely had a razor. I didn't. She had yeah. something. Okay. She had a razor flip. Yeah. It was really grainy footage, but it was there. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I used to lie about the dumbest shit. Oh. Report cards, all that type of shit. How do you lie about report? Well, then again, well, saying yeah. like I was a good yeah. student, I was passing. Then the report card would come. Nigga, all lives. Oh, I, I still, I, try to I, have still my I still shoplift. I shoplifted one time. You and take? got my ass beat. You take like petty things, yeah. like candy. Yeah. I take like chapstick and. Wait, you said you still do it? Yeah, I still steal shit. Oh, but but only but only when I'm buying something. You feel like it's anytime I do self checkout in Walmart, I still something. <laughs> no, see, I, no, I, I don't. I don't do it in self checkout. I go Cause like, like they're watching you. No, and salmon and because they watching you. Yeah, it'd be no, too high. No, see, what I do is I'll, I'll have something. I'll have it in my hand at the register, and I just won't put it on the thing. I'll just have it like holding. If it. you keep it oh, in your no. buggy though, like that's no, that I have it perfect. in my hand. Like I have, I've literally had a shirt in my hand and been like paid for everything else, and they just didn't ring it up. And I'm like, all right, well, shit. I'll be fake Merry Christmas. 
So mm-hmm. so even if they do say that, oh shit, my bad. Mm-hmm. Y'all remember who Ebony Eyes is, the rapper? <laughs> no, no. Y'all remember Ebony Eyes? No. I was she local rapper? No, nah, she was. <laughs> she was when we were younger. I just can't remember what song she sung, but that's the CD I tried to steal when I was like in middle school. Not Ebony. Wow. Because she had a fat ass. <laughs> that's the only reason why. <laughs> that's the only reason why, and I just wanted to respect. CD. Yeah. <laughs> and I got my ass beat. Oh my god, I got my ass beat. For you stole Ebony an eyes. Ebony eye. Well, I got caught. Was I didn't steal it, it. I got caught. You I got caught. <laughs> so hell no, that shit was not worth. That is hilarious. Got my SB twice. As soon as I got in the car, my mom fucked me up. As soon as I got home, my dad fucked me up. Why? Nigga, I was stealing. Steal the CD. And a wax CD. Would it have been worth right. it if you got the CD? If you would have stole, if I would have like got it, it do you think probably. it would have been worth it? Because she had a fat ass. So <laughs> was the. But I was like 15, I think. So did you? Did you? Was that your rationale? Did you try to explain that to them? Like, look, she got a fat ass. No, it was just like I think my mom asked me why, and I was just like I was crying. Like I don't know. Like I was just crying. And out of nowhere, your dad was mad at you too. Yeah, niggas, I could go to jail. He dad should, had to understand. Dad like, yeah, yeah, that that shit. Was but I didn't tell. But I didn't tell him though. Like, this is why I stole it. So, <laughs> like, I was. If you would tell your dad that, your dad would be like, Whoa. and because he didn't right. tell him that, yeah, so that's probably yeah. And because you didn't tell him that, he just thought you were trying to steal an yeah. Ebony Eyes yeah. album. Yeah. Yeah, I'm mad y'all remember. Let me find. No, I, I, please I find. Oh, you she saying it like that name? No, so. Like she was like, because she had that one. She had that one hit. She had that one hit. Well, where did it go? She had that ass. And know. she had a I dumb fat ass. <laughs> that picture huh? looked like the time she when she was a rapper th- back in the day. That's she from day. Kentucky. I can't remember what song she had though. That picture, the picture looks bad. Like, it yeah. looks like <laughs> two thousand. She had some like, song. Yeah, she had some song. And I remember the music video. Her it's ass not was even fat. okay. First of all, barely. You, barely. The, the picture he I remember 15. seeing I, back he when was I was on Google Images. So any ass was ass. And then it's Trina and Ebony eyes. It's not even. And they both had fat asses. They both had fat asses back then. Well, you wasn't stealing Trina CD. I was stealing hers because I knew who Trina was. I had a source magazine of Trina. The baddest. Can not find it? I don't understand what's going on. Y'all are crazy. What's the last time she done? All right. Well, thank you for that. That's hilarious. Oh, she all right. Let me see. Chris oh, trash. Chris, Chris. Nigga, I was, what, 15? Well, no, she looks like a, the video models of the day. She don't Did look she like really? man video yeah, models. Yeah, back then. <laughs> she back then. Mm-mm. Like back then? No. I think so. Maybe she DPSS. Like she playing dress up for Halloween. She looks like she <laughs> works at DPSS. Oh, let me see. I can't see. All right. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh. It's all right. I don't know if ass is popular back then like that though. She looks like my I case worker. Was. I was never an ass man either. <laughs> oh she yeah. So I don't even know why. Oh, you like she she mm-hmm. is really like homegirlish. Let me see. Real homegirl. Very round away. Like she, <laughs> she really is. like she was very fifty four fan. Very Sacramento. She very oh she yeah. trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think what? I, I wasn't like gonna say that. She's remember. really. She don't look like she nah, was a rapper. Like, right. I think when I was like in middle school, she looked like, like me. <laughs> she looked like you. Not, she does not look like me. <laughs> 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 you are ridiculous. Let me try to find the single. Jeez. Please, please, please don't. Me. It's okay. You don't have to play it. Yeah, no, we'll I got it. I'm pretty sure we don't have the rights. Yeah. We don't. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. We good for 25 seconds. Oh. According to ASCAP. Right. I don't want no person's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Jeez. That's oh. funny. All right. By Did the way, I w- go? Yeah, everyone went. Didn't By you have, what? you had an extension question what, to what I just asked. Or what was it? He took oh, my whole rep if that? I told you that and went off. Speaking of uh, the that? extension nigga, y'all know he coming out with like a, uh, well not him, oh, but X, somebody, X, X. yeah. Uh-oh, 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 turn up. <laughs> that just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I got carpet cleaner. <laughs> they um, popping bottles in the, he, the champagne. Uh, who, somebody is making like a TV show about mm-hmm. him. Oh really? Why? Yeah, I, seen I that. don't know. Yeah, I seen that. I don't want to. But I don't. I don't, I don't understand. I don't why. care. I don't care. I, I don't want to see that. They're glorifying. No one see they're they're gonna. This is. Uh, his I'm mom not, should be doing. I'm not gonna talk bad gorgeous. about the dead, but I just feel like it, his life was nothing to be like. We need to I'm celebrate this. Like this yeah, is something that needs to be celebrated. He was an abuser. He, like, no, it's not cool. Even without, it's kind of just like his name didn't ring enough bells for me. Yeah. He don't care. Kind of like Aaliyah. Keep uh, that uh, uh, we're not gonna do that. All we're right. not gonna do. That. Cut his mic. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, we're, we, don't have, we don't have enough time in the show to do that. Not, not today. Yeah, okay, fine. Keith is such a mom. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Ebony eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ebony Eyes. <laughs> Getting it all done. Washed away. All right. Did everybody go? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So it's time for Uniquely Speaking. All right. So, guys, it's that time of the year for Uniquely Speaking because we're doing this once a year after this. Yeah, I said that once a year. Um. So, Uniquely Speaking, this time is uh, entitled Ready, Set, Go. Did you ever run track? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No? I used to want to be a shock put person. Shot put? 
I used to run that's track. Not track, track football. Wrestling. I know, but like that's the only that's the only thing. Black I, people always do track and field. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the only thing. That's the infield part. Did you ever run track? No, I went to. Yeah, the I never ran. That's yeah. Yeah. That's that's the yeah, that is. Right. But y'all get the point of why I said that. Yeah, yeah, same no. shit. Yeah, sure. Track and field. I would still be on the track team technically. Yeah, sure. Technically, I would be on the track team. Yeah, sure. So anyway, <laughs> we're running no. it. No, I yeah, never so ran I used to do distance. I used to run di- long distance. Y'all run long distance. Y'all run short distance. I did cross country and 100. Cross country Ooh, 100. Okay, shit. so you understand. So cross country, um, I, did I did the I did cross country and I did the 800 and I did the 1600. <laughs> so I was a long distance runner. So can you, the, for the people who don't know, like me, the 1800. That's the meters. So that's like, uh, 1800 is like 15 times around the track. Now One lap around the track is 400. Yeah. yeah. 400, 400 meters. Yeah. Nigga, you did 18? I didn't do 18. I did 1600. That's four, ta- four times. Mm. That's a mile, right? It's a mile. Yeah, it's a mile. Wow. And like without stopping? Without stopping. Not stopping. And so, like you had to sprint the whole time? No. Uh, no, you pace yourself. Oh, okay. You got the win, but you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which goes into the uniquely speaking. Um, so like, um, just when I was just really like, I was in my bed the other day. I was like, damn, Kelvin, you about to be 67 next week, right? <laughs> And that shit hits you. Keith, has it hit you yet? No, I feel like I've been 30 since for like three years. Three years? I've, I've been telling people I've been 27 since. Why y'all lying? Forever. Because I don't feel like I don't look 30. So <laughs> if people think I'm 27, it. I'm 27. <laughs> Merry so Christmas. You. you don't look like <laughs> how, how old am I? I'm 12? I'm 12. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> um, but no, I just felt like, man, like, what am I doing? Like, I feel like I have so much more to do. Like, I need to do this, this, and this. And I just it just took me back to... The old saying, like, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Mm-hmm. And I was, that sounds so cliche, but I was like, that is actually really true. So um, when, I, when you run long distance and you are in this mile run, every lap you get a a time. Like, even, like, when you set your timer and you do a, a run around set, that's your lap time. It's not your full time, but it's just your lap time. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes you want to beat the person that's next to you lap time, or sometimes their lap time may be better than yours. But y'all still are running the same race. Mm-hmm. That makes sense? Mm-hmm. So, like, you could be in the front of that person at the beginning of the race, and your lap time may be 1 minute 6 seconds, and there may be 1 minute 46 seconds. But if that second lap comes in, and then they start running a little bit faster than you, their second lap time may be 1 minute, and yours may be one fifteen. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what we do in our lives. Sometimes we don't look at our – we only look at the entire – we don't look at the entire race. We only look at the lap time that we're in. So we start to compare ourselves to everybody else and how they're doing this lap in their race instead of looking at the race in the whole. So, like, when you say, like, oh, man, I had these plans to be doing this by this age. and Like, I really wanted to be done with this by this this time of the year because we New Year's resolution is almost over. If you ain't got them right now, child, God bless you on your journey. Like, they out the door. Mm-hmm. It's time for new ones. So I think we have to start looking at the entire mile instead of just looking at that one lap. And realize that just because I fell behind this lap does not mean I can't win the entire race. Like, the race is not over. Like, it's still going. It's just one simple lap, and you could be the champion and win your gold medal. So I just think that um, as we even, like, as we come around birthdays or, like, we come around the end of the year and we start reflecting on how this year went, this may not have been your best lap, and that's okay. The race is not over. Your cleat may have fallen off. Your shoe came untied. You got a little tired. It's okay. You still have a race to win. So don't let this one single lap determine how your race will be finished. You may be in third now, but that does not mean you can't win. So that's what Uniquely Speaking is, right? uh, Ready, set, go. So as we get ready to enter a new year, don't worry about what this lap was like. Worry about how the race will be ended. Hmm. So how do you feel going into 30 now? You know what? I feel kind of good. When I was thinking, like, damn, I got so much to do. I've only been in L.A. for two years, and I really feel like I've – really made a lot of connections that I didn't think I would make this fast. And it makes me excited for what what's to come. Also, I feel like I'm just now getting my groove. I've always been a late bloomer. I didn't learn how to ride my bike till I was 11. Jesus. Yeah. I got hella scars on my legs because I'm clumsy as shit. <laughs> so I was always a late bloomer. So I feel yeah, I'm bullied. I feel like tall niggas can't ride bikes. No, we can't. Because we, we don't know how to work our legs. Like, we have them our whole life. Like, we don't really, I didn't learn how to walk till I was like 30. So tomorrow I'll probably learn to walk. <laughs> but like, so like, I just always feel like I was a late bloomer. So now I finally feel like, okay, now I'm really finally getting in the groove of what I really want to do and do things like that. So I feel good about it. I, I and then looking at the people that I work with that are like, like my boss Jason. Jason's 41. 
He just got on Wild and Out last year mm. at 40. Mm. Half the cast members on Wild and Out are like in their 20s, mm. early 20s. So if he can do that at 40, and I'm 10 years younger, like there's no really like stopping like what I can do. Melissa Ford, she's 42, mm. and she's really just coming to the second half of her career. What's she doing now? Uh, Melissa is now she is doing like body lotions and like mm. like all types of campaigning and stuff. She's like got a whole nother like frontier. She will talk about it on her show. It's like a whole bunch of stuff. So I just look at those people that I, I'm in a room with. And one thing that Oprah said, like, because I used to think about this all the time when I first got here. Um, how did I end up here in this room? Like when you look around, like, what the fuck? Like I've been sitting across from such and such. Mm-hmm. Like why is this person? Even like when I go to celebrity parties, I'm like, how the fuck did I get in the room? Mm-hmm. But Oprah said, if you're in the room, you deserve to be there. So don't question it. Because a lot of times we sit in the room and we spend our whole time thinking, how the fuck did I get in the room? Mm-hmm. Instead of talking to the people about why you're in the room or how they got in the room mm-hmm. or learning from them. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's Nick speaking part two. You're in the room. You know, yeah. I, I always, it's always I interesting. I always think about like when people like are like have like a shot at fame. Like, I love New York. Remember New York? Mm-hmm. Like. She can't go get like a regular job now, right? Like mm-hmm. when she's working Direct TV or something, like, <laughs> like it's like what? Like so, you brought Melissa Ford. I'm like, like what else could she even be doing? Like, well, you do what you have to do. That's, that's like the guy from the Cosby Show, right? He was working at Whole Foods or wherever mm-hmm. he was at. Yeah. Oh, homeboy. you got to yeah. get a job. Mm-hmm. She could. That's holding like a motherfucker. Yeah. She if do she, what? If she wanted to, do what? Like go to Direct TV or some shit. Cool. New Tiffany. York. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's still working. But that's now. the thing. But why mm-hmm. would you? You've been in the room, so you but have I'm saying, the connection. Like if she wasn't right. getting roles or whatever, like dude yeah. was. But mm-hmm. well, I think that's also on him too. Like he was on the he Cosby Show. That don't matter. No, he was on the that number one matter. sitcom. No. Some people are not chasing the fame. Though. Number Some people just one. Do good work. But that's my thing. If you are on the number one sitcom as a regular. That's up to you to keep keep that momentum. Mm-hmm. Like it's okay to take a break. And yes, take and no. Well, he, that's not all that. Like acting, like you, you never it. know. And that's on him. Well, he teaches acting too. He's oh. back in it now. He's back in. It. He's Tyler Perry put him half and half not season another. He he's good. But the thing is, I just think you have to stay consistent. Like if you're in the really room, only keep remember him in as a kid. Rooms. We don't know him. No, as he was not adult. a kid. He was a grown ass man. Oh, was he? Was the niece's husband? I thought he was a kid. Yeah, he was. Not not the niece. The Sandra, the older sister. Oh no, I'm talking about somebody different. And they had Raven. So he was a grown ass nigga. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking about somebody different. I'm thinking about Theo. Theo. No, not Theo. I was low. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm thinking about the little boy in Families Matters. <laughs> oh, the little white. That's Richie. No, nah, the, the little yellow little, little boy. Richie. That was his name. Yeah, the nigga that had like like people. the long ass. Yeah, hair. Richie. Yeah. yeah, that's who I was thinking about. He's still acting too. I used to work with Buckwheat. <clears throat> Shut your front door, yeah. mouth. Who was Buckwheat? Uh, he was <laughs> working at the Boys and Girls Club. What was he doing there? Who the fuck is Buckwheat? I used to do telemarketing with the um, principal oh, from which Buckwheat? Buckwheat? Like from the our childhood or like the, 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 the old, old. The, the original, the original little, yeah, little, little Rascal, the one that we grew up on. Oh wow! And yeah. he worked at the Boys and Girls. I, don't yeah. that. I was like, damn. Was he the one with the pointed hair? The no. black one, the only no, black, the only black. Oh, Buckwheat! Wow. Yeah. You already know how Eric. I know little Rascal is not, not a black. You never movie. seen it, Little Rascal. But Eric, have no. you ever seen it? I saw it once. One, that's, that's how I know the kid with the spikes. That's Alpha. Do you know his name? Alpha. 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 Yeah. Yeah, right. That's it. What was his girlfriend name? Chris. I watched it during lunch in the auditorium. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what? It took the Darla. Like, it took him four days to get. What did the, the What did the little black boy <laughs> like to eat? Right. Do you remember four that? Four days to get. What happened? Do you remember what the black boy like to eat? I don't fucking remember the movie. Okay. I just asked you who Buckwheat was. All right, never mind. Who Why are y'all so pressed about the movies that I watch? Now y'all niggas have ever never seen to any of them. Because you've bill. never seen any no, of them. I want to know what, what movies you grew, you grew up on. Day Baby's Kids, that's it. That's not true. I'm not doing this. We only got 12 minutes. I'm not doing this. Because <laughs> every show we ask him, have you seen it? No. Never no. seen no. He's never seen a movie. I'm just not big a on movie. movies. That's not true. <laughs> Period. I watch the ones that are applicable to my life. Which ones? Hustle are those? and Flow. No. He was, he, oh, I was about to say those are the type Players of movies Club. that he watched. Yeah, I like Players Club. Movies. I did watch Players Club, but it took, <laughs> Twice. Me, it took me a long time in life to watch it. Baby, like, I watched baby it when boy. I was 22. He liked movies like that. Like, baby I watched boy. that when I was like 20. Our, if you hear scrubbing, uh, that's Mom Keith on the um, carpet. <laughs> that's Ebony. <laughs> it's Ebony Eyes on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to go see The Hate That You... What is it? The, the Hate That You Give? Is that out already? It's been out. Yeah. Damn it! I feel like I that's such a basic movie. You what? That's a, it. Seemed like such a predictable movie. I don't know. What's about I don't know all. how it's going to end. It, Somebody it surprised me that Issa was in it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I didn't know Issa was in it. Till, um, She's in it. What she do? Yeah, she, yeah. That's oh, the premise that, of the movie. That's, a, that's in the trailer. At what? the beginning, at the beginning, the boy gets shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe I didn't see it. 
in front of the girl. Yeah, it's at the beginning. Like he gets shot, and that and that, that opens up. <laughs> that that <laughs> opens up the entire <laughs> movie. They did a terrible job marking is what is what it yeah. was. They marked. But we don't know what happens ones. though. At least we don't know what happens. Right. We don't From know the boy getting shot. We don't, we don't know, know how it ends. That's the extent of it for now. He gets shot by the police. <laughs> he gets shot by the naked justice. Huh? Ali G's in it. His name was his name. He's a Algie. Oh, Algie. Oh, he's in it. Yeah. Um, he did a great job in Detroit. Did I see Detroit? He's good. Good. He did a really good job. I like Algie. He can't sing. I wish he would I stop taking singing off. roles. But and he also oh. has he also has a music career. Oh. Did you know that? He can't sing though. But he can't. But I don't want him taking no more singing roles. There's so many people that have singing careers that can't sing. I know. Macy Gray. Aaliyah. I wish Macy. I could sing. <laughs> Michael Jackson can't fuck. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. You got Michael Jackson? I'm that, not was that, that was a good one. Jackson. That was a good one. That I had to do it. That was a good one. And it came on the slide too. That was good. You I was I said it low. I ain't know. You were you were quick with that one. You said it low in the mic. You got headphones on. I know. I know. I thought I thought I was like when like, that's how, that's how I, was I, thought I, go. I thought I was like, oh, yeah. no. Like, that's how I, I said it. <laughs> well, look, we yeah, got fave can't sing four either. minutes. <laughs> we got four minutes. So we're not going to do this. <laughs> I thought we just had 12 minutes. <laughs> well, y'all spent. Well, we now. Nah, eight, eight minutes, minutes are not going to happen by quick. <laughs> we, have <eight. laughs> we do have eight. <laughs> we have eight. I was about to say, eight minutes are not going to that fast. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, where are y'all now? Frustrated. This <laughs> 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 pissed me off in the last few minutes of the show. I was good. Oh, jeez. My eye is killing me. How do you feel? My eye is killing me. It's part of old age. No, I feel good, y'all. I honestly can't complain. I'm, I'm, I'm humbled. I'm full. I'm excited that you. I'm. First off, thank you once again for these cupcakes. And you didn't see them when stuff. I went to roast. No, Chris. I don't. I didn't pay attention. I honestly didn't. Oh, oh no! I just realized like, there was I, I, I whole cupcakes. came to the card and I had like they were right there. <laughs> No, I couldn't because I, I like I didn't put a bag in it because I knew you weren't gonna see him. So I was like, he's not even gonna niggas, look, man. No, I didn't even look. Just I didn't look. Too. Hey, uh, <laughs> Chris, what? I, this is why I love niggas, man. <laughs> he, they probably don't sell because no, because they uh-huh. Thanksgiving cupcakes for you. Those are only cake, cake I know, I know. <laughs> but I'm just that's why I I love my niggas, man, nah, because they, we I make something price. out of nothing, <laughs> man. <laughs> and this is some real. I guarantee they Jackie wouldn't bought those. Jackie would have, she would have figured out some happy birthday cupcake. Had it written or something. Because I, I, yeah, I, I walked in the bakery aisle, those were the first ones it. I saw. Yeah, exactly. The first, I know. Saw. The first ones I saw. I love <laughs> niggas, man. I love it. Then I went to go find the cookies, saw the cookies. We get the job done. Yes, and that's okay. all that matters. <laughs> no, but yeah, Chris, I'm good. Chris planned this whole thing. We did you house. really? He's planning really this whole plan thing. It. I just I mean, put it was a real, message It didn't out. take much, but he planned it. You did plan it. I didn't like plan it, No, that's planning, though. Chris, oh, that's well. really admirable. I just Thank sent out you. a message and that was it. I appreciate that. Yeah, Chris. everybody give Chris a round of applause. Chris is a man. good friend. <laughs> that is, that's, that you is know, a good friend. You know, I talk shit about Chris all the time. <laughs> but Chris, you really like one of my best friends. Don't, this is not going to happen. I'm not going to say this shit after this, though. But you really want my you, best nigga, friend. Nigga, you tell me this like, all the time. Like, you were my closest friend. <laughs> Every time he get drunk. Really Every do. time. I really do appreciate <laughs> you. Like, the you last do. time he was drunk, he told me this shit. Like, oh. he, he really busted my room to tell me this. I did. And the nigga thought my bike was a horse. I really thought I Chris had a horse that. in his room. I went to go pet it and everything out there. <laughs> my, mind you, Jackie, it was my bike. I know, right? <laughs> it was my bike. <laughs> I, that was a rough night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That Tell me, when did you get a horse? Nigga, it's a bike. What are you talking that, about? <laughs> that was a rough night. I remember that night. <laughs> but anyways, yes. Uh, Keith is having a party at the study on November the 24th. <laughs> To celebrate our I birthday, are you? You really win the, the T Rex though? I, 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 I got to make a mental I, note to I, make sure. I really believe I'm because I don't have anything else, and I wear the same shit every day. Like I got like three shirts in rotation, so you know, you know what, Chris? I mean, keep it your birthday. Be great. Yeah. So that that T Rex is coming out. I'm pretty sure you can get all the pictures <laughs> with the T Rex. Yeah. No, definitely. Are Sorry. you wearing the Yeezys with it? I might wear the Yeezys. You got it's green. You got to wear the Yeezys. Yeezys. I might wear the Yeezys. Yeezys. Mm-hmm. Peyton ruined them yesterday though. Well, you, well, mom, Sheesh. you have that in your hand, so you go ahead. And <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mom no. and shit with this, yeah, <laughs> for real. No, but uh, Saturday, two to six, the study, Hollywood, green. Eat before we get there. Is that the plan? Eat before you get there because there may or may not be refreshments. Uh, Danielle's doing Danielle the cake. Won't even be drinking. Danielle's she just doing said the cake. It was catered. May or may not be, but Danielle's doing the cake, and the cake's gonna be litty. It is going to be tight. And we got did K-pop. Eric, Eric, l- let it. me tell you. <laughs> 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 Eric, so look, we Chris, was on our up. way to the mall, no, right? No, no. Mute his mic. Eric, we were on our way to the mall, right? 
because uh, I needed I needed a shirt for the party. So we on our way back from the mall. I'm like, uh, I don't know where. I, I was just curious. I was like, can, uh, what kind of cake you getting? Because I was just curious. Because you know, I'm I'm allergic to a lot of different shit. Oh, no. So we I was just curious. I know, but I was just curious of what kind of cake okay. he was getting, so I could prepare myself. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, what kind of cake you getting? Like ten seconds of a pause. I'm like, nigga, what kind of cake are you getting? <laughs> so he was like, you know what? I didn't even talk to Danielle about the cake, and I was like. So you told her to make a cake, but you don't know what kind of flavor the cake is. And this nigga was like, "No, like I really don't know what kind of flavor of cake she's making." So we talked about design. So what kind of cake is it? We, talked we about don't cake. know. We talked about design. No one knows. We talked about cake pops. We talked about everything, but we never talked about what flavor this cake is. <laughs> and I was just sitting there confused, like nigga, what? <laughs> you know, it's interesting. Most people don't really care. I mean, you figure they just wanted to no, look good. No, it's gonna be one of three. No. Nigga. You we figure, never you figure it's gonna be one of three. Yeah, you know, chocolate. Vanilla, chocolate, or but she strawberry. Could, but she could have no made. Chocolate. She had more options. She could have made she like. Asked me, what kind of cake me too. She, she asked me asked too. Me. Put pineapple in the middle. We never talked about what type of cake. <laughs> but 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 I flavor. think it's also different when it's dealing with a man versus dealing that's with yeah, that's a, it. a woman. It's that's just more detail. Yeah. She said, "What you want?" I said, "Uh, green. okay." That's what you said. Okay, green, you don't care how it tastes. That's type of shit I say. So she yeah. okay, all right. But it, it did not hit me until that very moment in the car. On when was that? Tuesday? Fucking last, sometime last week. At so least no, this week. It was this week. Oh no! Today's a new week. Today, so last well, week, at least week. at least establish it, a flavor. Yeah, I don't even. The know nigga didn't even do that. Danielle surprised me. No, as long as it's not like and no vegan ingredients. As long as it's not like right. nuts no, in no, it. no nuts, no nuts in it. Other than that, we <laughs> there are too many allergies in this world for you to right. do shit like that. <laughs> that's why. That's why I had to ask. I just just was curious. So I don't know what flavor this cake. What if she bought you a fucking pecan cake? Y'all gonna eat it? I, I'm gonna die. As long I as I don't even have dry. the fucking epipen. Yeah, I would die. It'd be over. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be vanilla. I'm pretty sure that's her. Default you you flavor. can't just <laughs> pretty sure because you didn't <laughs> even talk to her about it. Why didn't you know that's that's gotta about be it. the default. Like, well, why I not ask? Said, I, honestly, no, I, you, you still honestly, have an ex. Why don't have you, you care? You yeah. still have an ex, have you? Because I know niggas gonna eat it. That's Answer true. the question. You still have an ex, have you? Huh? Right. <laughs> I'm a. I'm an emailer now. You're not even gonna get an email at this point. Honestly, okay, at guys. At this point, we're not going to have a kid. Thank you guys so much for listening <laughs> to the Get Right. As always, you can catch me on Instagram at The World According to Eric, Twitter and Facebook at Eric Devante, and Snapchat at Picasso underscore three if it is still up and running. And you can find me, K, in the new view for Raw. Kelvin Unique at K E L V I N L. Oh my God. <laughs> what is my. No. You can find my Instagram. It. It's this. That's why I can't drink and. and post. Nigga, you had a sip. That's why I can't. You I had a sip. I can't drink. A I, sip. I can't drink and host things. You had a sip. This is why I never drink before I get on the air, or host an event. But edibles next week, right? Edibles next week. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no. Let's go. This oh, show no. is going to be so amazing. Um, <laughs> Kelvinology K E L V I N O L O G Y is my Instagram, and that's where you can find me. Tavares. Oh, this is Tavares Thick and Savage on Instagram. I also have the Rated MA podcast on um, iTunes. Which we didn't even talk about. Hey, right. he got a, a podcast called Rated MA. And Kevin is on this week's episode on the 21st. It's called Fuck Me Three Times We Go Together. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Kevin, is that what it takes? No, I didn't say that. You on the show. I did say I, I'm on the show. That's not my. That's not a direct quote from <laughs> Kelvin. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Twitter and Instagram, you can find me at cccaw. And as always, guys, I hope y'all got right. That's right. Get right or get left, bitch. You better get right. <laughs> <laughs>